Is it true that the Kaaba was, there is an image of Jesus and Mary? Yeah, there is some reference of that, but we don't know if this is true or not. It's possible because the Kaaba was kind of a gallery where people, they display their religion. So like there's a competition, but, but you notice here, there's people, they are living together peacefully before Muhammad came. Isn't it the Muslim, they say there's 360 idols around the Kaaba? So look what happened now. The, the Muslim confirmed there's a 360 religion in a small town. Nobody killed anybody. Muhammad, he came, the devil came with him. Your prophecy is better than the prophecy of Jesus according to the Bible, who said before this generation, always the stars will fall and the sun will dark. My friend, you are just a pervert like your prophet. Jesus was counting all generations and that generation at the end, that will be the one who will witness the day of judgment. You are a fraud like your prophet. Now, what about you call me and let us read the chapter you are talking about and we will read the hadith your prophet trying to copy Jesus. Your prophet, he said that this person, not that generation after, 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 this person, he will not grow old until the day judgment come. <laughs> Read it. And people will laugh at you. Muhammad, he looked to a young person let me see if we can find the reference here. And we cannot find it here. Give me a second. Muhammad, he looked to, us, uh, to a young person. And he said to him, he said to them, this child, before he got old, this child, a specific child in his lifetime, before he got old, the judgment hour will come. Read it. And this is Sahih Hadith. A young boy of Mughayra, he said, so he said, you know, from Al Mughayra, he said, this, this boy will not live before the last hour would come. Do you see it? And remember, you are the one who mentioned this, not me. Abbas? Abbas, oh yeah, Abbas, we put you in the bass, and now you are stinky. Abbas, oh yeah, Abbas. <laughs> Look at the false prophet prophesying that this is a child before he reached the age of 30, the judgment they will come to you. It is Sahih. Any Muhammadan? Hello? It is me you're looking for? And don't tell me that this is a weak hadith. People would die laughing at you. You are weak. Your prophet is weak. Allah is weak. All of you is weak. Even the prophet penis was not working. He prayed to Allah. He sent him a dish of shish kebab. He made it strong. Yes, Jaguar. Did you find the answer? Um, I was right when I said the topic is completed because her date Did you find the hadith of 13? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Listen to me, bro. What's no, no, I don't want to listen to you. Time. Give me first the number. We will put it on the screen and we will talk about it. First of all, yeah, okay, but I was right. That's what I'm telling you. No, did you the find date. the hadith of 13? She was 13. Give me um, 15 seconds to speak. No, I, I will give you 15 hours. Did you find the hadith? She was 13, no, no. yes or no? Yes and no. Did because you find the hadith that she was 13? Yes or no? When, listen, 
what's debated is her birth. The day of her birth is what's debated. The day of his birth. Oh boy. Don't, don't call me. I don't want kids. I want adult. Let us see this person. Next. Hello? Fakira? Hello? Are you there? Uh, nobody is answering. The date of his her birth? What the heck is that? The date of her birth. <laughs> you don't even Muslim knows even the date of your prophet birth. You don't know when the birth of Allah is exist. The Muslim they celebrate the birth of Muhammad in July, then in August, then in, in September, then in, in, in January, then in February. I mean, the birth of Muhammad is like a party of an idiot going from town to town, and the season keep changing. Are you going to give me the hadith of she is 13? Uh, are you going to give me the hadith of Mrs. Aisha, she was 13? You are not talking, you are repeating yourself, I'm repeating myself. So do you have the hadith or not? Do you have the hadith or not? You say, yes, I have the hadith. I will let you continue and give me the number right away. Yeah. I have no time. You're a liar. You said 13, give me the hadith. She was 13. You are going to make a story. I have no time for stories. Either you have the hadith or you don't have the hadith. You asked for time to search for it, so you did. Obviously, you did not find any. You're a liar. You are going to read for me an article, potato. Let me read for you my own article. Aisha was so old, and in market she was sold, and the prophet was buying. He buy her with her dolls. He put her in the malls. And he said, this is what I am selling. Abu Bakr, he screamed at him. He said, shame on you to take my daughter. The prophet, he said, you bought, I sold. I sold what you bought. Quran chapter 9, verse number Aisha. You Christian from the Greek mythology. Ah, okay. Can have a children with women. I have a dirty laundry, my friend. So why you don't call me as long as you have the dirty laundry? I will be happy if you open even your camera and put all the pants you have in the front of the screen. Do you dare, Ammar? Those guys, they have all the laundry. Actually, if you call me, we can switch the topic to make it about laundry. How the prophet used to do his laundry? Is it true that the Muslim, they drink the water of his pant, his underwear after washing his underwear? Or I'm making things up. Call me. Let us see the laundry, my friend. You are a coward. You don't dare. You don't dare. You are afraid. In case you are a circle, I will make you square. I will change your shape. I will make you bend left and right. Call me. All of them, they talk about laundry. Let us talk about the laundry. Muhammad was the most clean person in the world. He, this is why he never had a laundry. He jumped in a water, have dead dogs, brother, and women blood from period. 
and garbage. So what is the laundry mean in Islam? If you're a prophet, he clean himself in such a water. Can you even have a laundry? Imagine this is the laundry machine. Muhammad now is cleaning himself. There's it's a small body of water in the size of a jacuzzi, and Mr. And Mr. Jacuzzi from Japan, Muhammad, Muhammad Jacuzzi be upon him. He jump in this water, have dead dogs, women of blood from period, and stinky garbage. Hold on. That inspire me to draw. So what we have? Women rags, brother. Hold on, let me make the line more thick. This is women rags full of blood, brother. Hmm? Full of blood. And dead dogs. Oh, are you serious? Yes, brother. Dead dogs, brother. Okay. No. So this is the head of a dog. The head alone look weird, huh? because he's dead. I mean, come on. This is his leg. This is his body. This is his tail. Okay, okay. Are you going to draw everything? Enough is enough. And now we have garbage. What the heck? Yes, brother. A lot of garbage. As an example, this is a bottle of a blueberry from Walmart. And as an example, not limited. This is some Trump hats. Somebody, he don't like Trump, he throw the hat in the garbage. I mean, this hat look weird. Excuse me. And brother, so all of those things in the garbage and now the prophet is doing what? He is swimming there. The prophet here because he always supported green. He was going green. So this is a prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Look how cute he is. He was in the water. And he was relaxing. Garbage, dead dogs, women of blood from period, poo poo, no poo, coo, 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 all around the prophet. And then they asked the prophet, What are you doing, man? What the heck are you doing? The prophet, he said, he spoke at that time like Ali Dawa. They asked me why I am doing this, brothers and sisters. I said, water is always pure and nothing make it impure. Honey, can you give me some grape? Grape, please. Because this topic is drying my throat. Yes. Okay. So the prophet, he jumped in the water, even though have dead dogs and women of blood from period and garbage from Walmart. Nothing wrong with that, sir. Because simply, water is always pure and nothing make it impure. And I am Ali Dawa, and I approve this message. Hold on, we have another one. Christian Prince, first of all, I say to you, and I'm warning you, don't draw Prophet Muhammad. This is the red line. What about the red diaper full of blood, man? Your Prophet is there with it. Christian Prince, First of all, Allah Prophet, he is always pure and nothing can make him impure. But that's what he said. He said the water is always pure, not him. Exactly. And what he meant that he is because he's in the water, the water is pure. Oh, exactly. Because the Prophet is holy. Okay. And because it's holy, the water is holy. What the holy shit is that? So you are saying to me now this water, which is full of shit, is became holy now? Exactly. And please don't do the worth it. What's wrong with that? Isn't it the Quran mention it? Christian Prince, you are lying. Isn't it the Quran says that if you touch al khara al, you know, if you came from... <laughs> uh, 
Oh boy, this is a messenger of Allah. Jumping in the swimming pool of diapers and garbage and stink. And what make it more stupid, even the Muslim, they say, stinking things. I mean, do you see it, guys? You see, this is not a translation of somebody he is a Jew, he is a Hindu. This is a Muslim website. Stinking things which means it's not just a garbage because, you know, it can be garbage, but it's not stinky. I mean, I can maybe throw a plastic ball. It's not stinky. No, no, no. This is not just a garbage. This is a stinky stuff. Can you deny it? And this is the one who want to teach me how to live and how to clean myself. Hmm? Don't use bad language. What is the bad language? The word shit? Since when it's a bad language? So don't you shit every day? Suddenly now you are case sensitive and you are like, don't say the word language. Please don't say shit. Hypocrite. Don't you remember what your mom, she keeps saying to you after she gave birth to you? You forget the most famous word? Ah. <sighs> Let us see, we have Mehdi trying to call me. Let us call him. Hello? Yes, my friend, are you a Muslim? Yes, bro, I'm a Muslim. That's and, wonderful. Uh, I would like to introduce myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Mehdi, I'm from Germany. Mm -hmm. And um, I have like a friend of mine who told, you, who told me about you and he said like, we did a challenge actually. He said, if I talk to you, I will change my belief. So, right. um, yeah, I will see which arguments you actually have and which are the skills that you have. And maybe, uh, can you give me also a background story about you so I know who you are? And well, no, I don't know. I will make it short about myself. When I was born, long after I asked my mom what day it was my birthday, she said, I don't remember. I remember it was just only a bad day. So let's make it short. What? You are a Muslim. And you said to you to me, you are a Muslim from Germany, but yeah, isn't but like originally I'm from Tunisia. Oh, you are so from I Tunisia. Did... Okay, all right. Yeah. But what the original language of Tunisia? Do you know? Arabic, not like not the original one. Like uh, Arabic has been spoken in Tunisia for like more than a thousand years. But exactly. But what language was the language is... before? What was the language before? Barbarian. It's a Berberian, North African. Barbarian. Language. Thank you. But now, if yeah. we go in the Quran, thank you for your for your introduction that the Barbarian was speaking there. If we go mm -hmm. in the Quran, it says mm -hmm. that Allah He never sent a messenger, except by the never tongue. Never sent a messenger. We never send a messenger. The Quran says we never mm -hmm. send a messenger except in the tongue of His own people. Chapter fourteen, verse number four. Mm -hmm. And you so say this, is, like the, you this say, is the argument that you're using. This is what, and you said that the people mm -hmm. of Tunisia they used to speak a thousand years ago the original language, which was barbarian, correct? Yeah, that's correct. But I don't know the time exp like exactly, but I know like before the, the before Tunisia spoke Arabic, like as a main language, it was barbarian. I yeah, think, but the Arabic North came Africa. after the Muslim occupy you, correct? It wasn't an occupation then. It that's was a, occupation. Like, if you read the history, yeah, read the history. Yeah, man. it's not an occupation. Can you show me where it's like? Do you have like? So how how history? how Islam came to uh, to your country? Um, I'm not really like I don't have a lot okay. of questions. I came uh, here. Let, let's, let us make it simple. As long they let used me, to let speak, me say something, please friend. first. As long they yeah. used to speak uh, barbaric. Can I say something, bro? Go ahead. I let you speak all the time, like, right. and you just, you always like cut me off. Hmm. Okay, so um, I'm saying here, what is the proof that like Islam? What you asked me now that the Muslims came in war or occupied or whatever you're saying right now? Do you have proof for that? Hmm. Do you have historical proof? Proof about, anything about uh, Muslims occupying? No, about Tunisia, about the thing that we talked about right now. Oh, no, I'm saying, to be like, I'm, bro, I'm like, saying, my friend, I do not need to give you a proof. It's you who so gave general. me, it's you who gave me the proof. You said before mm -hmm. a thousand years ago, we they used to speak a barbaric language. I'm not the one who gave you the number. It's you who gave me the number. Yeah, I gave you the number because it's an estimation, brother. Okay, so before, before, after Muhammad came, and after Islam came to you, you start speaking Arabic, correct? So normally, yeah, I think so. Okay, that's wonderful. 
the Quran mm. says in chapter 14 verse number 4 we send not a messenger except in the language of his own people do you agree with this okay. verse no I don't know this verse but normally yeah if it's in the Quran I would agree in anything in the Quran but um, this is another question do you agree with yeah. it with understanding or you're just saying anything in the Quran I agree did you understand the verse I understand the verse okay brother, explain, but I also the verse understand... to me. explain the verse to me mm -hmm. go ahead why should I explain to you I understood it already no like... I want to see if you really understood it or you're just saying whatever you know how am I saying whatever if I'm talking to you in this manner I will okay, not be let us make it clear brother. So Allah and the Quran said, I will never send a messenger except from the people speaking the tongue of the people. Do you agree with that? Yeah, okay. So you mean like Tunisia didn't speak Arabic and like Muslims came in a, in a language in a country that didn't speak Arabic, even though that's the, that's the verse in the Quran. I totally understand that. But bro, bro I want to tell you something. Mm. Like in Quran, you can take things out of context. And if you could take one ayah, like from any surah somewhere, and you just... Give me the that context me, of it. You see, my friend, that's why I ask you, my friend. I'm not, look, I'm not a professional in this. I, I don't care if you're a professional, you professional or not. Professional. Don't, huh? So don't give me a speech saying, don't take it out of context without being able to give me the context. What about we open the interpretation? You no, can open I'm not it. a professional. No I'm problem. Professional no problem. Person. We can go to the interpretation, but no problem. But the verse is so simple. It says, we send not a messenger, except mm -hmm. he is from the people, which means if to come to you in, in Tunisia, he have yeah. to be from Tunisia. But the Islam is the language. It's like the last religion that made that was made for the whole world. Why are my friend this verse came? Muslims? This verse came uh, in the time of Muhammad is exist not after Muhammad, correct? Yeah, but the Islam came in Tunisia before Muhammad, but after Muhammad existed. Exactly. After he died, but the Quran confirmed, my friend. Like Islam my, didn't come okay, in Tunisia. My friend, no problem, no problem. But Islam came when the Quran came, correct? Islam came when the Quran came, but Islam came to Tunisia by Aqba ibn Nafa. That's another Sahaba guy okay. who came after uh, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in like 200 years or something. All right. Aqba ibn Nafa, he come to uh, to Tunisia. Is he a messenger of Allah? He's not a messenger of Allah. He's okay. one of the uh, Sahaba. He's like okay. one who, who wants is the, to... Who is the messenger? He's like you. He's just who like is, you. Who is, who is, who is, speak, bro, who is the messenger? My friend, who is the messenger? The messenger is Muhammad. Okay. The Quran yeah. says... Allah mm -hmm. will never send a messenger except yeah. to the people from the people speaking the tongue of the people. So in order yeah, for Muhammad and that's to... happened also. Like Muhammad did his like his dawa, I don't know what's that called in English, in the place of the Arabs only. But after Muhammad died, the Muslims expanded in a lot in a lot of places. So this argument that you're using doesn't have really actually a strong background behind it. Okay. You're just using this so you are saying to me, you are saying to me, Allah, Allah mm -hmm. did not send Muhammad to Tunisia. The Muslims sent expand the whole Islam. world. He sent Islam to the whole world. No, but he sent no, no, to no, the... no. Hold on, hold on. The verse yeah, in the front yeah, of you. The verse in the front of you. It says we never send a messenger, except mm -hmm. he have to be from the people speaking the tongue of the people. So there's no two conditions. Number one. Is yeah, he and is that's speaking what I said the tongue, to you, bro. huh? Yeah, yeah, I heard you. I heard you. Yeah, okay, so you are making things up. Secondly, you said to me, I'm not making things up. No, bro. you're making no, things up. You said points. to me, not because you said you to me, my friend, you, my, you friend, my, friend, my, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, you said to me, you are the one who mentioned to me, Aqba ibn Nafi. yeah, but don't you know that Aqba ibn Nafi is the one who Muslim they call it Ghazu Ifriqiyya. I don't know that. So now you do not know that Uqba ibn So you know the name Uqba ibn Nafi, but you do not know he came with an army? Because I live in this, I lived, I grew up in the city Qairawan. When no I, problem, when like but the, you are, you are the, the one who mentioned the name. There, okay, bro. but you That's mentioned the I name. Don't... So how come you don't study your history that he came with because an army? The... He did not yeah, come with a bunch wait, of missionaries. Bro, wait, let me explain, please. Oh. Why are you like hard like this talking, bro? Like you have... If you discuss with people about something, you have to be friendly. If you want to convince I people, I am not like, friendly, my friend. My friend, letter. you don't put conditions on me. This is how I talk. Sorry, if you don't like it, it's up to you. But this is how I talk. You think it's not friendly? This is your business. Look, look. Okay, let us let us make it simple. Can so let me speak, hold on, hold on. I asked you. I asked you about the verse. You said you are not professional. What about you? Give me the professional answer. 
I'm not a professional. How okay. can I give you? So now, what else, what are we going to do? Are we going to wait, walk in the laundry robe? Uh, I'm not professional. You aren't professional, so we wait for somebody professional. No, I want just I want okay. the strong. But why you the, need somebody like professional call, if the Quran? Wait, hold on. If the Quran yeah. is sent for all mankind, did the Quran yeah. say that you need a professional to uh, to believe in Allah, or He said, "Oh, that's enough." Okay, so yeah so this is like your argument for someone who believes so strongly a muslim so you are this is your argument to make someone disbelieve or to show them that muslim that islam is wrong so this is the strong argument you have about a whole religion no i did Give not me mention any arguments. argument like yet I'm just, I'm just, oh, let me my speak, friend please let me finish i did not me mention finish. any strong finish. argument or weak argument i'm showing you let that your quran let does not have speaking. an argument it's your quran argument not mine it's not mine oh can i speak can no. you like hold the discussion, please? Mm -hmm. I let you speak every time. Please. I said, like, I, my purpose of the call, the like the purpose of this call is that you have arguments that can make me disbelieve in my religion. So receive these arguments for me. You gave me only one. Give me more arguments. What is, okay, your, what, will, is your say, what is your education, if you don't mind? Yeah, I'm studying. I'm an IT student. IT student. I, okay. So yeah, that's okay. mean you finish high school, correct? Yeah. And you are now in university. Exactly. Yeah. Did you study what you study in university? Uh, like, I mean, in a school. Software like, engineering. Okay, wonderful. So you are very well educated, and I like that. So, what what kind of uh, proofs you like me to provide you? Scientific proofs, historic proofs, or anything? What What do you want me to? Because there is many the things. The proofs that you have up. that you you are sure of that make like you want to spread the message, right? What is the purpose of you doing this? Okay. Is the Quran is the word of Allah? Yeah. Okay. So when when the Quran is given to Muhammad, the one is talking is Allah, correct? Mm hmm All right. So I want you now to open with me the Quran. Do you have a, a Quran with you? Uh, not right now, but I can bring it. Wait. Okay. Or I can also search on Google. I have a Quran on me. Yeah, no please. problem. You can search. Whatever is easier for you. Maybe search is easier because you are an IT guy. You know, not like me. I'm illiterate. Yeah, no problem, brother. Like, um, okay. Let's see. Chapter twenty-three, verse number fourteen, and you agree Chapter. that the one is talking is Allah. Chapter twenty-three, verse what? What is the verse? Fourteen. Verse fourteen. Okay. Surah Al-Mu'minin, no? Al-Mu'minun, not Al-Mu'minin. Okay, that's how I found it, like here, but no problem. Mm. Um, my Arabic is not that perfect. Though, it's yeah. all right, it's all right. ثُمَّ خَلَقْنَا نُطْفَةَ عَلَقَةً فَخَلَقْنَا I see it, yeah. Mm. Do you agree with it? Yeah, that's like about the, yeah, about the, like, uh, how people are created or how the babies are created, right? Mm. Do you agree with it? Uh, wait, like, let me read it. Mm. Yeah, and actually, I watched a video, I think, about this uh, before that it was scientifically right proved. Mm -hmm. This was proved before even science proved this. Oof, 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 oof. Explain to me. Go ahead. I'm listening. I'm, I don't know the explanation exactly. So the, I said I watched a video okay. about like. So you the, are saying, process, my, process, my friend, my friend, my friend, yeah. you, my friend. Yeah. Which science says that a sperm will transform into dead blood and the blood which is dead will become a baby? I'm listening. That's what this AS says? Yeah, it's in front of you. We made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood and then the clot made into a, a lump and then the lump mm -hmm. become uh, uh, bones and then the bones Close. closed with the flesh. Mm -hmm. That's what science yeah, says so now. Lump is not lump is lump of blood. No, actually, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. You see, one is step by step. Halaqa mm -hmm. is the dead blood. So we made the sperm into a dead blood, congealed blood, and then we mm -hmm. made the congealed blood into a lump, which is not too much hard, not too much soft. You know, meat. You know, uh, yeah. okay, and then. Uh, we made not meat actually like it's uh, you know the blood itself becomes so uh, you know a little bit uh, softy and then we made it out from the lump bones and after that at the end we close the bones with the flesh so you are just bones 
mm -hmm. in the last stage, Allah, he close you. So okay. in which science it says that sperm become blood? Uh, I don't know that. I'm not a scientific person. So but I think are you going to say to me each time I say something to you, you will say to me, I do not know. I'm not a professional. I am not scientific. Bro, I'm not course. a doctor. Like, I, I want I'm not a nurse. Like, proof. like I want a real proof about something like you say, like uh, God didn't make this word or Muhammad didn't exist or something like this or something that it really disapproves. So should I de should I design design a proof fit with your majesty? What do you, what are you asking me for? Like uh, it's uh, not my majesty. Uh, well, this is a, if God if God I, is the one who created say, the baby, if God is the one, something? my friend, you said you are in university and you are studying yeah. IT. So you I'm learn. Studying IT. I'm not studying biology. No bro. problem. But I did not study biology too. But in high school, they taught us. I'm not a doctor. They taught mm -hmm. us how the sperm transform into the egg, fertilize the egg, and then the sperm is gone, deliver the DNA and fertilize, and that's it. The Quran saying that the sperm itself become the sperm, a blood. The transformation happens to be like the to the baby. Like the sperm is the main cause of that happening. No, so no. If you say the sperm no, transforms, no, uh, it means no, like it's the no, cause of it that no. transforms into a conclusion. My friend, my friend, no. Yes. Read with me carefully. What is the one become a baby? The sperm. Okay, so you're saying like here, Quran is having like a mistake in science, which means it's not right. So your That's majesty, right. now you are saying, look what you said mm -hmm. to me. Are you saying there is a mistake? I mean, isn't it obvious? Does the sperm become anything? The sperm became a blood. This is the question. I'm asking you a simple question. Don't yeah. ask me. You are an IT. You can search right now in Google. Does the sperm second stage like the the the, the sperm transfer to be a dead blood? It's dead blood. How did the blood will become alive again? It's a dead blood. Congealed blood is dead blood. So there's nobody say such a thing. Sperm will not be a dead blood, and there's no way that the blood will be growing. And in the same time, there's no way that the blood now become a lump, and then the lump became a bones, and the bones was closed by flesh. This is a okay. hocus. Yeah, yeah, okay. I will tell you something, though, but from what like I I noticed from here. So you said like you told me first like when you were born, your mother told you that it was a bad day of her life or something like this. Yeah, she meant it was a bad day for the Muslims, not for her. Why is that? Because May as I you ask? see, you are in trouble, all of you. She said to me, I asked her what day I was born. She said, Oh, what I mean, I know it was a bad day. She meant mm -hmm. all the Muslims in the world. How is that a bad day for all the Muslims in the world? Look at you. Board? You cannot answer me. Each time I show you something, you say to me, I'm not professional. I do not know. So what? The, know. So why you say I'm a Muslim if you do not know what Muslim mean? Here we go. This is your religion. This is your book. No, bro. I, I, look, if you are a Christian or a Muslim, does not mean as a normal person. I'm not like a, a scholar or something. So I don't care. Do you need to, are you saying to me, you need to be a scholar to understand your book? No, you don't need to be a scholar. Then explain it. Go ahead. But you need to be a scholar to recitate, to to like to discuss no. with people about religion. Uh, so you I are calling you me are to discuss too. with me. You are calling me to discuss with me, but you are saying you should not discuss with me because only scholar can discuss with me. I didn't say I should not discuss with you. I should like I discuss with you, but into my knowledge because my knowledge okay, is limited. Okay, I will do this. Let me you say know, because I don't know. I, well, I don't know what you really you want from me. I will make it I'm simple. Not, I don't want can you give me? Can like, you give so me? It was hold actually on. a challenge. No, 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 I want no. to see. We will change. Shows, you know? We will change. And the actually, course. you don't have my any. friend. What's your name? What's, what's your name? Mahdi, bro. It's Mahdi. Mahdi. Sorry, Mahdi. Okay, Mahdi. Listen. We will change the course of the conversation. Can you give me one strong thing that Islam is and the Quran came from Allah? Okay, let me say something before I do this. Mm -hmm. I want to like have a point that I want to say. I want to say. Okay. Like I, I noticed like from the way you're speaking, like the background story that you have, that you're like somebody who had a really miserable childhood or kind of like life at the first years of your life. And now, because of this miserable shit that you've gone through, mm -hmm. you just want to have revenge and you'd like because of like islam is the thing that you came from or arabic word is the thing that you came from so you're trying like to spread a hate message on something that you don't like okay which is actually really childish but i support you bro do your thing like okay. i'm not against it or right. something i will go with That's you the point can i, I talk can i talk now can i talk yeah, yeah sure okay sure, please my uncle did not kick me out from the house like what happened to muhammad my family did not reject me like muhammad I was not born four years after my father's death like Muhammad. 
mm -hmm. I was not found spying at girls like Muhammad. My mm -hmm. hold on, Muhammad my uncle, the hold on, girls, my right? uncle, my uncle mm -hmm. did not make poetry against me like Muhammad. The wife mm -hmm. of the my uncle did not make fun of me like Muhammad, and mm -hmm. I did not have a lice like Muhammad. I did not jump with water, have dead dogs and women blood like Muhammad, and I did mm -hmm. not teach people to eat their boogers and their and, the, and to spit in their clothes like Muhammad. And you are talking about a misery childhood. Suddenly you became a doctor. So I will go with you now. Don't change topic, please. Became, became a doctor. Hold on. Like, yeah, I became a doctor of physiology. I was but, joking. Okay, I was joking. Right? Isn't it obvious? Question. Hold on. Isn't it obvious? Yes, I was joking. Talked, hold, on, hold, on, talked, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You are just a kid. Hold listen. On, listen. I'm holding so the bridge, I want to ask bro. you. I want to ask you. What make a prophet? No what make a prophet me, like Muhammad? Are you saying mm -hmm. Muhammad he have a good childhood experience? I didn't say that. I talked about but you. You just said. You just, you just look said. At you, bro. The point I you said. Just about said you just said. You just said. Hold on. Exactly did the same but thing, hold on. Bro. Hold on. Hold on. Just spread the hate. Hold on. Hold on. Standing from my point. Okay. Look, my uh, Let us talk about look, hate. Look. Let us talk about hate. What do you think about a person? Yeah, bro. It's like you're hating on somebody. Listen, I listen, talked listen. about you. My friend, and you started hating on somebody else. Jump like a monkey from place to place. I was talking about you and yourself. Let us talk like a dog. Directly directed that to Muhammad because that's the inner you. Let us talk like. Let us talk. Let us talk like a dog. Okay. You mentioned hate. Do you agree that hate is from Satan? Yeah, of course. Like spreading hate is something bad. Okay. But let me say say something to you. I didn't leave me even to no, ask no, me the no, question. No, no, hold on, hold on, you hold on. Let's Christian. focus. Let's focus. We don't want to be all over the place. Hold on. You, you accuse me, my in? friend. You Answer accuse me this. of what something. Do you, you accuse you me. In? You accuse me of hate. Please, come on. Look, now, what do you believe in? Hold, also, are hold you on. You see, you you are afraid. You are afraid to hold in one topic. You are afraid. You are terrified. Not okay, then let you. us let us hold into hate. Let us hold. Actually. Let us hold what into the hate. You that. agreed. You agreed that the one yeah. who spread hate is Satan. Do we agree, me, me and you on, the, on that? Anybody who spreads hate is not Satan. It's bad. Doesn't mean it's bad. I don't know if it's Satan or not, but it's so, bad. Okay, That's so whoever spread hate is a bad person. Do we agree? Yeah. Okay. Give me the next argument of uh, Muhammad. Chapter five. Hate. Chapter five, yeah. verse number fourteen, and you agreed. That the one who spread hate is doing bad and he is bad. The Quran mm -hmm. says that Allah He spread hatred specifically between the Christians. Between the Christians. Between the Christians. Yeah. Okay. okay where is that? Allah right. He spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. So if you are a person who have little decency, you will hold mm -hmm. what you just said just now that the one who do hate spread hate is bad now mm -hmm. if you are a person who have decency you will stay with your words as a man and you will not yeah. bite your tongue says i did not say that so this is of your God. I'm a man brother of course i'm a man and a whole all right word, so i said spreading hate is bad but punishing people is not if they did something okay bad. read don't change topic we are talking about. I'm not changing we topic. Are talking if about spreading, for doing bad, we are talking about spreading bad, hate bro if you punish somebody for doing bad, okay, that's not spreading hate. If your son does something bad, you're gonna punish him. You're not spreading hate. No on problem, him. no problem. I will because go with you. you. you, you create My friend, you are son. you are a flaton okay? of Tunisia. No problem. But read the verse. Of read everything. the verse. I'm, read the I'm verse. To somebody you who are believes changing, that Jesus is the Son of God. You are you changing. believe Jesus is the hold Son of on, God. Hold that's on, the most stupid hold thing on, I have ever stop, seen in my fucking life. You are afraid. You are terrified to listen. So I'm afraid. Can you read for me the verse? Can you read the verse? <laughs> oh my God! Read the verse. Your people, people who watch this guy, my friend, you're read, the, read, read, the read the verse. Read the verse. Read the read the verse. I read the verse. Okay, go ahead. Tell me what the verse is saying. Read it. Oh, wait. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is taking you long? I'm I'm hearing the verse. You're what? You are hearing the verse?
Do you want to call a friend? What? Do you want to call a friend to help you? Wait, bro. I'm hearing. I'm hearing the. Bro, you're just you provoking people. Can you not let me hear the verse and understand it? With no like problem. The, well, as long as you are hearing, I want to talk. Then I will, I'm not going to be silent until you finish. Uh, Zach and Why? do you, do you have any? Me, do you have any comment, my friend? You are ready. Okay, are you ready to answer? So are you ready to answer? You have like so much. Are you ready to answer? With your inner self. Are you ready You're to? Somebody who's miserable in life, bro. Yes, I have thirteen wives and thirteen mother-in-law, and my life was miserable, like Muhammad. <laughs> oh my fucking god, bro. Okay, miserable in life. Just yeah, bro. You're just somebody who believes that God has children, and uh, Jesus. Is well, it is you, Muslim, who believe in that. We don't believe that God have a children. It's I don't believe. You are an idiot. Believe, Not a single children. Christian believe that God has a children. You Muslims are an idiot. You believe, bro. You believe in. Okay, Trinity. don't change topic. We will go there. We will go there. We will go there. We will go there. She has finished this one. Yeah, but let me hear the fucking verse so I can understand Stop it. Use, don't there. use a bad language. I don't use you... whatever the fuck I want. My no, brother. you don't. You are here. No, I do. You are here. Free, See, free so now you are trying to force me to hang up on you so you will not read the verse. Isn't it the plan? <laughs> Look at these points that you're using, man. Read it. Oh my... I will not hang yeah, up on you. You are using life. the F word, I so I will hang up on you. You can hang up on me. I don't give a shit. <laughs> exactly, because now you are in trouble and you are trying to escape by trouble. using filthy language. Shit. I'm not in trouble. Then I'm read it. Then read it. Then let me give me time. Just don't give you time me for what you speak second, Arabic. You Just speak provoke. Arabic. You speak Arabic. You are from Tunisia and you did yeah. read Arabic already. And why all this time for read it? Go ahead. Because I'm looking for the interpretation of the ayah because I don't understand this kind of Arabic sometimes. Ah, I told you already that no, the Arabic don't is bad. I understand this I kind told you of this already. Arabic I told you this before I told you this he was able you. to understand this kind I of Arabic. I said my Arabic is not good and he okay, said hold it's not on. a problem. It's I will open for you. Psh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will open for you any interpretation you want and I will put it in the screen. Are you happy? Put it, put it, yeah, put it. What do you want? Any interpretation? Name one for me. I'm, I'm reading one, and you didn't let me do Which one. Which one? Read it. Why you start writing? Read. Go ahead. Read. I'm hearing it. You can no, hear read it loud. Read loud. I want to hear it with you. Go ahead. Why should I read loud? Because either you are lying, you are not reading anything, or you are reading. Tell should us. Should I share my fucking screen? Tell us. You don't stop using a bad language. Shame on you. Shame on me. Yeah, I'm sharing my because screen. you are Do calling you to defend That's Allah. You, you are calling about. to defend Allah, so please... and you keep saying the F word. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? That's how I speak. So, so you, you speak like to it? Allah Just when you pray up. to Allah. You say F you Allah. No, I don't say that. I talk. So that why you keep people. using the F word? You are defending Allah now, and you keep saying the F word. Respect at least the name of your I God. I say the F word. I say the F word like you do. Like I don't. Everyone does. I don't. You don't? No, I don't. Oh, you're so pure, my no. brother. So no, pure. I don't. By the way, is saying the F word is wrong? Uh, I, we do a lot of things that's wrong. Ah. I'm a Muslim, but I smoke but weed. But you're a prophet. Man. He is the one who used the I'm F word. I'm a Muslim also. I smoke weed. Let me tell you, Muslim people are not perfect. Islam is perfect as a religion. For me, that's what I believe. Was your... But Muslim people are not okay. perfect. Are you now going to read the verse for me or not? I'm not gonna read it for you. I'm just gonna read it by myself and try to understand it. If you give me thirty seconds, okay, and you just I will give you, silent, I will give you, I will give you, I will give you. Shut up! Don't use bad language again. You son of a. No use bad. Coward liar! I will give you thirty minutes and don't use a bad language. Shame on you! This is telling us what kind of mother you have. Is that how you talk to your mom or your dad? You are calling to defend your God, yet you cannot stop using the F word. You are a street boy. And you are proud that you smoke weed. No wonder you are so weedy. And what else you do? You sleep with men? You work as a pimp like Andrew Tate? Nothing surprised me between the Mohammedans. I will give you 30 years to read the verse and come to me with the answer. Feel free to text me or call me anytime. Coward. I think you were miserable in your childhood. Yeah, yeah, I was, you know, very miserable, yeah. Me and in my childhood, I was in the age of six, 
And my mom, she said to me, now we are going to marry you to someone. She is 54 years old. I said, mom, I'm still so young. She said, no, you are a growing boy. I said, what about my toys? She said, you can keep, take them with you. I said, okay, so I can take all the toys? And she said, no, even we will buy you more. Then the women you will marry from her, she is rich and she will buy you a lot of toys. And I said, hey, 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 really? Okay, when well, I'm going to get married? You are talking about miserable childhood, you idiot. A prophet who marries six years old, Aisha. How her childhood was with a guy at the age of 54. Potato. You are against reading hatred. If I have any, which I don't, that means it's coming from Allah. The Quran says so. You need to make a difference between punishment. What punishment? It says I will spread hatred. I thought punishment is in the day of judgment. I thought Allah, when I guide people into good religion, Allah, according to you, is not a person who is guiding anyone. He is a misleading. He is satanic. He spread hatred and enmity between mankind. This is not an act of God. This is an act of the devil. Do we have any Abdul? They don't know what to answer, so he starts attacking you personally, and he used the effort, so I will hang up on him. It's obvious. Read the verse, he will not read it. Okay, read the interpretation, he will not read it. Why? Because he's ashamed of it. Allah is the devil. And not only that, if we go in the same chapter, you will see Allah, he said, that the one who spread Enmity is Satan. Yes, brother. The one who spread enmity, chapter 5, verse number 91, is Satan. Do you see it? Same chapter. We are not even going to different chapter. There's only one person spread enmity, Satan. And that person is Allah. Verse number 582. Verse number 514. Verse number 564. All confirm that Allah and Satan is one in the same chapter. Do you see it? The same chapter confirmed that Satan spread hatred and Allah is Satan because Allah and Satan both, they do the same action, spreading hatred. And I find it very funny and very stupid that a Muslim call me just because I am uh, <laughs> exposing his cult he's talking about hatred so the islam attacking us the muslim when they pray they pray five times to allah cursing us please allah don't make us like the lost christians and the cursed jews chapter 5 verse number 6 and 7 read it i read the interpretation the quran call us pigs monkeys animals najis filthy kuffar hypocrite worse than animals and this guy you're the spirit in hatred okay The second you confront their satanic religion, their demonic you know, spirit, they are all over the place. This is why you see a Muslim when he called me, he tried to speak over me. He don't want to listen. He don't want to, to, do you want to hear me. And he starts using the F word. Like the previous callers before this guy. This is the Quran. And by the way, as long we are talking about uh, Allah, 
Who is a Muslim would like to tell us if Allah really the God of the Jews? Who is a Muslim can confirm that Allah really the God of the Jews? Because as you see, Allah never mentioned in the Bible. Never. So how Allah is the God of the Jews? I will call this guy again because now we gave him enough time to read the interpretation. He should be ready, right? I mean, think about it. I hang up on him in 4.33. Now it's 4.40. So by now he should have the answer for the verse. Allah spreading hatred and enmity. Let us call him. Let us see if he will answer anyway. <laughs> He's not answering. The potato. Potato, 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 and here we dipped it in. And here we fry the skin, and here we fry it all, we make it like a bowl, and after that we eat it, and we put salt on it. Potato, 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 potato. There a prophet Andrew Potato, he become a Muslim Tato, and he was a pimp from Reto, and he if Lito. But he could not flee to potato, potato, potato. Seven passport to flee. Then he end in jail. Then they beat him up. Yet he claimed to be champion. Potato, 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 potato. The last messenger from Andrew Tate, he said, That the Matrix did attack me. <laughs> Take me to hospital. What is the guy, the champion? What happened? Champion of kickboxing in the world, the Matrix, they attack you in jail? Mama, take me to the hospital, Mama. <laughs> Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> wasted talent? Why it's wasted talent? Don't you see I'm changing generation, my friend? Here we make millions of Muslims leave Islam. This is not a waste. This is where our talent should be used for serving God, saving the Muhammadan from the false prophet Muhammad, the child molester, the liar, the guy who said a lot of the crazy things which only donkeys will believe in it. The earth is the flat and mountains nobody put it in the top of the earth and this man don't even remember which one Allah created first, the stars or the mountains, the mountains or the water. I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet of God? He don't know what happening, what's going on. Even the prophet, when he have sex, even his sex has zero witnesses. Even the wives were not there. I mean, have you ever heard of somebody having sex, but the wives are not there? What the heck? So he was having sex with who? Not only there's no proof he see angels, he receive scientific uh, whatever uh, verses, no, even his sex was fake. Mr. Fako. Aisha, she said, the prophet continued for such and such period, imagining he had sexual intercourse with his wife. In fact, let me make it more clear because most times they don't. In fact, Okay, hold on. I need to squeeze it more because most of they like squeezed. In fact, sorry guys, uh, Zebri was squeezing me three times. Okay. In fact, he did not. 
I mean, this guy, even his sex, sexual intercourse. So if the wives were not there, Muhammad was doing intercourse with who? Any Muhammadan? He imagined. Isn't it, this is a clear evidence that Muhammad have a mental illness? If not satanic, demonic, possessed? Christian prince. You are evil, Christian prince. This Muslim, he said to me. That's deep. Man. I don't know what to say to you. I'm shocked by your statement. What about you call me and tell me what demonic mean? Listen, I have a prophet who received satanic verses from Satan himself. And this is in the Quran. And the funny is, when you read it for the Muslims or you speak about it, Muslims get offended. But the Quran says so. You are devil, jinn, prince. That's deep. So when Muhammad received satanic verses from shaitan, isn't that making him messenger of Satan? Let us go to the Quran so we can read together and we can laugh. Here we go. The Quran confirmed that Muhammad is a satanic messenger. Read with me. This is what the book of Salma Rushdi was about, and the Muslim, they went crazy, but the guy did not say anything. This is what is in your book. We send not ever any messenger before thee, except Satan cast into his fancy. Fancy? Muhammad, he used to wear fancy religion, fancy panties. When he was fancying, fancying, what is what's coming from fancying? Fancying, is that English? I'm learning this word, you know, language now, you know. But Allah will annulse what Satan cast. What the heck? So Satan cast already. And now Allah will take it from Satan, which where? From, from the Prophet. Where? In the Quran. Let's read different translation. This translation is really weird, like all of them. Hilali Khan. Hilali Khan. La 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 la. What you have. La 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 la. Never ever did we send a messenger or a prophet before you. But when he did recite a revelation or narrated or spoke, Satan throw some falsehood in his mouth. What the heck? So all the messengers of Allah, not only Muhammad, Satan, he added words to their mouths. Read it. And then Allah, after Satan, he throw it in your mouth. Allah will delete it later. So now what is the proof that this verse itself is not from shaitan? As long as shaitan, he can throw it in your mouth. Well, here we go. This is one more. What a stupid book. And this guy, he called me, he said, okay, somebody told me to call you and I want to see how you can prove to me Islam is not that, you know, like, you know, give me your logic, give me your logic. So, okay, the Quran says, we never send the messenger except in the tongue of his people. It's, what is this? Is it? Give me, give me, give me that strong argument. You know, is the, what is this? You stupid. I just showed you. Muhammad cannot be a prophet for your nation because Allah will never send a messenger except from the people speaking the tongue of people. You are not from his people. You don't speak the tongue of the people. We don't speak your tongue. So how he can be your prophet? Oh, no, no. Give me a strong argument. This is not a strong argument. <laughs> And now we are calling him. It says Mahdi is unavailable. That's deep. He's unavailable. He is still reading the verses, brother. Okay, Christian Prince, look like you have a very bad childhood. 
And this is why you have a lot of problems. The, 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 Dr. Mahdi, peace be upon him. Dr. Mahdi Swedeen, he is so good in physiology. Man. So what do you think if a guy is 54 years old and he likes to have sex with the children as long as you are so good in physiology? Hmm? It's what they call it pedophilia. It's a mental disorder. Sick. He don't like women, he likes children. Which surah is that? This is the chapter 22, verse number 52. And by the way, when you read the Quran, you have to add an echo. If you remember, if you notice Muslims when they recite the Quran, like uh, Muhammad Hijab, he made a, he, he, he recite the Quran to uh, what his name, this guy, jo Patterson, very slow person. So uh, maybe Hijab, he said to him, and then, you know, okay, the guy, nothing happened to him because this is the verse will make him convert to Islam now. So Muhammad Hijab, he took the verse and he add echo to the sound. In English, that will be. We never send, 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 send messenger, 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 or a prophet, 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 before you, 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 you. The Muslim, when they add those echo, they think they can make the word of their God godly. Echo worshippers. No wonder this religion is coming from the cave time. Bismillah, illah, 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 man, illah, meen, illah, him, illah, him. Echo worshippers. Their Quran is useless, meanless, stupidless. Like when I can't say stupidless, it's full of stupidity. Do we have any Muslim? Mr. Uh, Mahdi is not responding to our call, but he is still online. I don't know why he's not responding. He is online. Let me call him again. You wouldn't answer. You got hurt. Wieso nicht? Wieso nicht? Er redet die ganze Zeit. Hallo? Hello, hello. So you hang up and you just call me again. Okay. No, I told you go and read the interpretation and give me the answer. So are you ready now? No, I'm eating, brother. I just had fun. Ah, you are eating. Ah, okay, okay, go eat, go eat. Nah, he's eating, guys. He's eating now. He's eating now. He's eating. We Muslims eat like all human. Mm. Oh boy. He's eating now, he's eating. Okay, I will give you 10,000 years to finish eating and after that read the interpretation and call me. So guys, are we having a good time? Did we have a good time? Now, my, my experience with people who come to our program, here they are so generous in the chat. Look how the chat is boiling. When we finish, nobody make a comment. And nobody give a like. And nobody care to share the link. And this is why when people, they say to me, Oh, you have a hundred thousand subscribers. I say, no. I have maybe one thousand, two thousand, three thousand. The rest are fake people. They are fake. They are real people as pure people, but they are fake. What count for me as what the Lord, he says. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter his kingdom but the one who do his will. So my friend, your comment can bring a Muslim out of Islam. Think, and I like to see your thinking. I don't wanna be just a per person thinking for you. I believe all of you have been giving gift and God, he can use you. Don't be just a person who watch and you don't care. The one who don't care, he will end in one place, 
in the trash. For trash you were, and trash you will be. So either you live with a value, and you defend your value, or you are nobody. So I would like to see from all those people who attend here, a comment, and please don't say to me, thank you, Christian Prince. That is not a comment. We mention many things. So instead of saying to me, thank you, Christian Prince, which is useless, actually, I find it silly. What about you mention any of the verses we spoke of and you make a comment, show us how much you understood and what you got from this? Don't care for numbers of people have a hundred thousand subscribers or three million or four million. Numbers mean nothing. Jesus, he have a 12 disciples, not 12 millions. If somebody have one person listen to him in YouTube, doesn't mean him or he is not a scholar. Sadly, actually, people these days, they worship celebrity and all of them, they are idiots, have zero education. They just talk, blah, 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 blah. I like Islam because Islam, Muslim, they stand for the religion. The second we see what Muslim they stand for, we find they stand for nothing but evil. Don't be like those people. Don't be just a number. Don't be stupid. You are a human and you're being given a brain. Use your brain. If you don't use it, you will lose it. And then you will become like Muhammad. You imagine yourself having sexual intercourse, but in fact you did not. It was Andrew Tate doing it. With some of his captives. But now, subhanAllah, Allah guide him to Islam. So now his business is extending from 75 web camera girls. They are now 750. Praise be to Allah. The God who knows nothing except knows best. So I hope people are learning. Hold on, maybe we'll get a customer. Let us see. I need to go to the, <clears throat> the bathroom, but... <laughs> Hold on, hold on, guys. I, sh I should not mention that, right? But as you know, uh, me as a prophet of Allah, I love to go to the bathroom. Just give me a minute. Okay, like, it doesn't take even like a minute. Usually, uh, Arab bathroom is like 10 hours, but I will make it short, 45 minutes. Give me a second.
All right, we are back. Sorry, guys, because I had to go. I mean, if I did not do that, I will be leaving. It is mission impossible. <laughs> but thanks to Allah, Allah, he guided me to the bathroom and I was able to do it. Let us see this uh, person who's trying to join us. You know, it's not easy to stay for many hours talking, right? Uh, <clears throat> no food, no drink, no nothing, and you can't even go to the bathroom. <laughs> yes, my friend, you are live on air. Are you a Muslim? Uh, yes. Welcome. Uh, what do you like to say to us? Go ahead. Uh, I wanted to ask two quick questions. Okay, what about, what about the topic we are... No, no, it's okay. What about the topic we are mentioning? What do you think about Allah, what Allah means? No, no, I just want to ask two questions. Okay, That's what it. about you tell me first what Allah means, and then we can go to the questions you have. I didn't come here to answer anything. I just wanted to ask two questions. I'm not asking you to answer. Just tell me what you think as a Muslim, what Allah means. I want to I want to learn from you. I'm not questioning you. No, I want. I came here to ask you questions. Okay, so are you saying you do not know what Allah means? Two questions. Two are, questions. Are you saying you don't know what Allah means? I'm not saying that. I'm saying. So why you don't tell me? Ask you why why it's hard to tell me what Allah means? I'm not here to discuss this. I'm, I'm not, asking. I understand, but why you don't I tell me? Why you don't? Two why as a Muslim? I need your help. I need your help, my friend. I want to know no, what you're... Allah what Allah means. Why you don't want to tell me? Because I'm here to ask you two questions. No problem, but can't you tell me what Allah means? I mean, why is it so hard to tell me? When, when, you, when you allow me to uh, to ask my two questions you first. You can say to me whatever you want, but what, will you, will you allow fine? me to learn from you what Allah means? Yes, after you answer my first two questions. No, first. you tell me because you are calling me and it's my program and the topic, you see the topic is why Allah name never mentioned in the Bible, which means we are talking about Allah name. Why it wasn't mentioned in the Bible? Yeah, why never mentioned in the Bible? What do you think? Because I, I don't read the Bible. How do I know? Okay, do you know what Allah means? I'm not Christian. I'm not Christian. What What do you know what Allah means? Do, do you know what Allah means? Allah is God. I'm not asking you. you what, I know that you, you Muslim. I know that you Muslim, you think of him as God. This is not the question. What, but the word mean? Allah, what Allah means? What? what Allah means? I'll tell you. Uh -huh. In Islam, there are 99 uh, names of Allah. Wonderful. And these are the attributes of Allah. So is Allah an, so attri is Allah an attribute? No, when I, I say So why you are, name, why are you are quoting for me 99 attributes when Allah is not an attribute? I'm asking you what Allah mean. You said to me, 99 names, they are attribute. I asked you, is Allah is an attribute? You said no. So now we have to take one. It's no, not no, hold on, no, hold no, on. hold on. It's not 99, it is 98 because you just said Allah is not attribute. I didn't say that. Yes, you said to me there's 99 so, names of Allah. They are, you said, everybody heard you, you said there's 99 names, they are attribute. You said that. I asked you, is Allah as a word, is attribute? You said no. So now they are not 99, they are 98. I, I did not say that. Okay, let us repeat can, again. Can you allow, How many names can you allow Allah me to... he has? How many attributes Allah he have? Can you allow me to speak? How many attributes Allah he has? First of all, you asked me what Allah means. Yeah. I tell I told you in order to know this, you need to look at the ninety nine names of Allah. Okay. Which which each name doesn't just has an, a random name without any meaning. Hmm. They have a meaning. They have a contribution to. They have like a meaning to Allah. So like. Let's say peaceful, um, mm. like stuff like that. Mm. So that's what Allah means. But what the, what the heck is the, what the question? I'm asking you. So what what I get from this now? I ask you what Allah means. Name you tell me. Allah have ninety nine names and they are attribute like peaceful. I'm asking you what Allah yeah, mean. I, what Allah mean? I told you. No, 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 no you did not tell me names. what Allah mean. You told me Allah I'm have ninety nine. Sure my, my friend, my friend, you told me Allah have ninety nine names. And one of them is Allah, correct? Yeah. Okay. So you and you said those are attribute, and then I said to you, is Allah attribute? You said no. So they are not ninety nine attribute. They are that's false. So Muslim. I said, are, I said they are attributes. They are attribute, right? They have an, a meaning to Allah, and those okay. are the meanings. So what is the what mean of the word? What is the mean of the word Allah? I told you. What? 
look at the 99 names and you'll know what they mean. My friend, the, 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 the names, them. each one of them have a meaning and Allah is yes. one of them. So what is the mean of Allah? Allah is, is just one of those names. I'm not... So, so is Allah is the is is Allah is a name or attribute? It's both, but I'm not sure what exactly. Okay, wonderful, exactly guys. It's both. So, what Allah mean? As long as it's attribute, it's mean it's description. It's what? It's description. Okay. Okay. What Allah mean? A description. Well, let, let's say. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Allah hmm. technically means God. Well, what does God mean? I told you within the ninety-nine names. No, Allah. Allah is not the word mean God. Allah. Allah is a is a name of the God. It's one of the names. That's what I said. Exactly. No, you said to me Allah, Allah, as a word is God, but this is not really what the Quran says. Isn't it the Quran says Qul huwa Allah? Let's, okay. Hmm. Allah is a name, right? Hmm. And hmm. within this name. There are attributes to it, if, which have which are the ninety nine words, and each of them give a meaning of what Allah actually means. Okay, what is the what Allah means? So, okay. so Allah itself doesn't so have Allah, a meaning, so, but when you so, look so, at other okay. names as well. So Allah and itself is not a word have meaning, correct? It's meaningless. No, it does have a meaning. So what the meaning? Which are from those? Okay, so what the meaning? Words. So what the meaning? I told you, look at them and you'll know them. Because I don't, really no, you tell me, you tell me. You see, you are the Muslim who look at them and you are the Muslim who pray you, for them. So I'm asking you, why, my friend, why it's impossible to tell me what Allah means? Because you Muslim do not know what Allah means. Hold on. Do you know, are you an experienced scholar in Islam or Christianity? Are you what? Are you an experienced scholar in, no, in, I am, in Christianity? No, I am experienced with Buddhism yes, religion. No. That's why my name is a Christian huh? prince. Okay, mm. so why why would you uh, misuse your information? Why you don't and, uh, why you don't correct me? I'm asking you, so you don't I don't misuse. I'm asking you I what call? Allah mean. Uh, uh, until now, all the Muslims oh. they call me. Not even one of them he hold knows on, what Allah means. Hold on, no, 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 no. hold on. Mm. Hold on. Uh -huh. I told you Allah is a name. Okay. Within what, this name, what the name mean? There are ninety nine attributes to it, which give a meaning to what Allah means. What Allah means at the end, give me the conclusion. What Allah, what Allah means? What Allah means? Are you saying to me Allah name is a 99 names in one name? I said Allah has a nine has 99 names, okay. which each have a con uh, has a meaning that contributes to what Allah actually mm. means. You haven't clearly looked at it or searched for, searched for it at all. So well, that's I, not I, my did problem. you did you search for what the meaning? Yes, I told you. Well, I told you you need to look for the ninety nine names. Look at what each meaning. Okay, can you uh, give me the meaning? So can you give me the meaning? Then you will understand. Okay, listen. One of the names of Allah is Al Mu'min. Yeah. Okay. What does mean, it mean in English? Mu'min mean believe, right? Is a believer. Yeah. Okay. Here, Allah believe in what? I'm not sure. What? You are not sure. Like give me the the name the one like the names again, please. Al Mu'min. And Mu'min doesn't mean believer in English, actually. So in what, that way, what, what does it mean? Al Mu'min means uh -huh. the one who who's like, like let's say you give me money and I try to save it or like. Try to make sure it's safe. Really? It doesn't mean believer. According to whom? Yes. According to whom? What do you mean according to? Okay. Do you that's, know? That's just mean. Okay, hold on. You said to me you, you know that the ninety nine names of Allah, and you said to me the ninety nine, one of them is Al Mu'min, correct? Yes. All right. Where we can where we can find that, in the Quran? Do you know? If you read it, you'll find it. Ah, uh, if I read it. So you Muslims, you are asking a Christian no, to find it. No, you clearly haven't read for it. Huh? You're just looking for random. You're just looking for random buzzwords. 
No, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand what you Muslim believe because you keep saying to me, if you read the attribute of Allah, you will understand what Allah means. And now this attribute yes. is weird because I see yes. Allah. Did you, did you read, so? read with me chapter okay. 59. Yeah. Let me help you. Chapter 59, you don't know where to find it. Chapter 59, verse number 23. It says, Who Allah al mu'min al You said to me, the mu'min is the one who saved money, which is very weird. Allah saved money? No, I'm not saying I'm not saying saving money. I'm saying the one that tries to make it safe. Not not I'm not talking about money. I'm trying to like what? The one who keeps something safe for who doesn't What? I don't understand. Wait, I'm saying I'm saying Yeah. And mu'min doesn't mean saving money. I'm saying a mu'min means the one who tries to be like, to make sure everything is safe for the other person or something. Ah, no, in Arabic, here we go, the word in front of us. <clears throat> hmm? It says mu'min. If we can go, we can go right now to the dictionary and we will see what the mu'min mean. Mu'min in dictionary means the believer. Mu'min. Yeah. There are two. There are two meanings for it. There is the believer. Ah, there is two meaning. Okay. No, 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 no. All right. Yes, that's Arabic. All right. You so, what is the mu'min mean in uh, uh, in Arabic when Allah, when the Muslims speak about their God? Mu'min to like from a Muslim to a Muslim or like. You are a Muslim, not me, right? What okay. What does that mean? Can you say it again, please? What? Can you say it again? I didn't understand you. I said, okay, chapter 23, it says, He is Allah. Mm. There's no God but and He. It, and then it says, look, look, look. It says, mm. He is Allah, right? Mm. And then it gives you the names of Allah. All right, wonderful. And those okay, He is Allah. Okay, He is Allah. What does that mean? Hmm? Huh? What uh, what does that I mean? I told you Allah. He is Allah. What does that mean? Times. I said many times. Okay, who is talking here? Let us make it simple. Who is talking? I answered you many times. Who is talking? I answered, I answered you many times. I don't understand. No, my friend, you did not answer anything. I'm asking you again. Who is the one who is talking? Allah or, or Muhammad or Jibreel? Oh, you mean, sorry. I I can't see the, the verse because I'm calling you. Chapter 59. I will read for you in Arabic. You speak Arabic, right? Yeah. Okay. Who Allahu alladhi la ilaha illahu. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Translate. What does that mean? Oh Allah, He is Allah. He is Allah. So who is talking? Allah. Okay. So how Allah, He is Allah, and He says He is Allah. If I say He is Allah, that's mean I'm not Allah. No. In Arabic, mm. if you because you clearly don't know Arabic. Ah, I don't know Arabic. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. When when you look at what it means, actually, mm -hmm. you know sometimes in the, in the Quran. Yeah. Allah says to himself as not one person. Mm. Sometimes they make himself as they in Arabic. So 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 Allah believe in the Trinity? Why do you put words in my mouth? You said Allah understand. he speak about himself as they. It's not me who said that. You said no. Allah. He speak no. about himself, he I'm say they. No, I'm saying in Arabic. Mm -hmm. Uh, the word in English that he could use for himself is they, which doesn't mean Trinity or anything mm. that, that you're saying. Okay. It means it relates to the power of Allah. It doesn't relate it's, to it's relate Trinity. To what? Like, relate to what? To his, as an almighty, yeah. as his almighty, yeah. he wouldn't call himself as one person. He would call himself as the strongest oh so, when, so allah to tell us how strong he is he liked to make himself many by language in arabic yes oh, exactly arabic. okay so you are saying to me if allah 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 he noticed that if he told us that he is just one 
that will not make him look strong. So he try to give himself extra words so he can tell us how strong he is. So he call himself they, but he is not they. Yes. Exactly. That's mean Allah is lying because he is not many. He is one. Oh, I told you that's in Arabic. I, I know Arabic. English? So what? I, I know it's in Arabic, English, my friend. English. But we are not talking about the English now. I'm talking about the Arabic. So you are the one who said and you agreed that in Allah. English is they, which I'm saying is not correct. My friend, in let, Arabic, let us focus in Arabic. Else? Let us focus in the Arabic. You said Allah. He used the word they, what equal to it in the Arabic language. They hope. because. It means hope. Arabic. Huh? Hope. What? What you said? You know when you know when he says Nahnu, let's say. Uh huh. What does that mean? We. And when you when you see a group of people together. Yeah. Let's say they're in a fight. Mm -hmm. Would you call them one person or something? To they, make them look like no they are be. not one person if they are many they are many if they are one they are, they can, i can say if they if they are one so when you when you say almighty mm -hmm. one god that is all powerful amongst all people and and everything you wouldn't call it one one person Why? because it's clearly about that why i will not call him one person what will happen if i call him one person he will lose his power I told you. Would you would you compare a group of people to God? You must have you compare you compare Allah to yes, to group no, of people. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Uh, would you compare a group of people I to cannot, God? I cannot compare people to God. In terms of power. I cannot compare in people to God. I cannot compare to people to God because in order to compare, I have to compare from the same kind. So if I say, uh, you know, if I say Jesus is the best of the prophet, that's mean he is a prophet, correct? Jesus is the best what? If I say Jesus is the best of the prophets, that means he is just a prophet. Correct? That means he is the best of the prophets. I that means there's many prophets too, correct? Okay. Okay. So is Allah the only creator as an example or he is the best of the creators? He is the only creator. So why the Quran says he is the best of the creators? Where, where does it say all over, the, all, the, all over the Quran? Do you know what the word Khaliqeen mean? Yeah. Okay. Allah is the best of Al Khaliqeen. Yeah. What, yeah? Gonna... what? Yeah. You said to me where it says that Allah he is what? saying he is the best of the creators. How he is the God. And you said to me, Allah, he used we, but he's one. And because he is almighty, well, he, he used we. But now we are finding that Allah is not the only one who create. Allah is one no. of many creators. He is claiming to be the best of the creators. So when Allah he says he is the best of the creators, is he giving when us he a says, fact what? fact comparison? You are the one who says you compare, right? You compare. But the, the Muslim they say the Muslim they say they keep saying we cannot compare Allah to anyone. When he is when he says he's the best of Khaliqeen, uh, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that he is one of the best creators, which means there is another creator. Oh. It doesn't mean that. So what does it mean? It means uh -huh. it means mm -hmm. let's say, are you a better creator than God? Okay, but can he, you? Okay, hold on, hold on. Yes or no? No, no, no. He is not yes saying. Yes or no? No, no. Are you are you are you okay. are you altering the Quran? What did I say? Are you changing the Quran? Because it says in the front of my eyes, Allah is the best of the creators, not the best to create. Why are you are making things up? Allah, he said the best. word the creators, not to create. Aren't humans creators as well? That create a phone? No, create a... no, no. Creator, so they don't no, create a... no, my friend, no, my, my friend, my friend, my friend. Being creative is an idea and science. Is not being a creator. The, your Quran answer you. The Quran says, "Are you going to worship someone cannot even make a fly yeah, create a fly?" Yeah. Correct. As well, right? The one who cannot create a fly, we cannot worship him. Correct. 
Yeah. You just told me now that humans are not creators that create phones, no, cars. No, this is anything. not a creation. The Quran give us the, what creation mean, creator mean. So someone he create, well. someone he can create so life, my friend. I did not create a car. I made a car. I use material which is made by somebody else, and I did not give it life. Okay. The car is not the alive. Design, the car is a, the is a still is a steel and rubber and nothing. It's not alive. So we are we talk about create. Okay, are you saying to me Allah He consider His creation is the same as a human creation? That's why he said he's the best of Khaliqeen. Okay, he's the best of but I will go with you. But that's mean, that means Allah is one of many human, and you are the one who's saying to me, Allah comparing himself to the human now. I'm saying he's he compares himself to the all mankind, to all everything. Exactly. So if Allah comparing he's, himself to us, he is saying he is the best of us. He's, he's saying, according to you, he is the best of us. That's mean he's one of us. He's the, no, I didn't say he's just the best of us. I said he is the best of humankind. He's the best of any okay. other person. As long let us, no let, us person. let us go together. Anything in this as long Allah, universe, my friend, as long Allah is the best of the creators. Who is the second creator after Allah? I told you, don't Who? humans uh, create a design? Uh, create create what? Don't don't humans create and design stuff as well? That's not what the creation means. You are making things up. You say the Quran. Oh, there is one. Listen, listen, listen. Search, search my, of my friend, creation, my friend, what? my friend. The verse in the front of you. The, the, the verse in the front of you. The friend. The, the verse in the front of you speaking about creating lives, not creating bicycles. Can't see it. So. Chapter. Well, can, can you? Can chapter you, can twenty-three, you, can verse number fourteen. Can you do me a favor and search up what does a creator mean? Creator. No, in like I, a, I just. I just showed just, you the Quran. The Quran confirmed. The one who can create can at least a fly is a creator. Uh, uh, sorry? Chapter 22, verse number 73, it says, you know, while you worship someone, cannot even create a fly. So the creator is the one who can create a fly, not the one who create a bicycle. Exactly. Okay. Hold on. Exactly. So Allah is the best of the creators. That's mean. The yes, person he is speaking is, of must be a creator. The one who cannot create a fly is not a creator. Yeah. Okay. okay. Wonderful. So, so when I say I am the best of the student, that means I am a student. They are a student. I am the best between them. When I say I'm the best of the creators, that means they are creators. I'm a creator. I'm the best oh, of them. Hold on. Hold on. You can't read one, um, one ayah or hmm. one verse and say that's what it all means. You need to. You need to look. You need to read the whole verses first from that from that who is holding you from read it Allah he mentioned Allah he made Allah he made the sperm calling you he made I'm the calling sperm. you on the phone and I look at it you can look at the screen in YouTube Allah he made the nutfa into a clot a bead of thick con uh, congealed blood and then he made the clot in etc and so this is describing how he made the baby and then he says he is the best of the creator so there is no way he's not talking about how he built the house how he created the, even a mountain is talking about creating life, giving life. So when I say I'm the best of the creators after mentioning this, that's mean I'm comparing myself to others who can give life, but I'm the best between them. So if I tell you, let's say, let's say something, let's say I'm the best one that could fly with wings. Hmm. Does that mean everyone else has a wing? And they can fly as well, but you're the better one. The second I say, yes, the second I say, I'm the best. That's mean, yes, everybody have. Okay, can you can you answer me first? About what? When I say, when I say, I let, I'm just giving something random. Hmm. Let's say I'm a human and I'm the only one that has wings and I can fly. Hmm. Does that mean the rest of the humankind have wings as well and they can fly? No, that's mean they don't have wings. You are the only one. Exactly. Okay. So when he says. I'm the best of creators. Hmm. Who are the better creators that can uh, create uh, life of human beings? No one. Okay, that's right? that's wonderful. No one. So why he is saying he is the best of the creators if there's none? That means he's lying. 
when I say, I just told you what I say, what I, just what I say, example. hold on. I, no, no, no. You see, example is helping me very much. Thank you very much. When I say I'm the best student and then there's no other student in the classroom, that means I'm lying because either I am the best of the creators or I am not. Because if I am the only creator and then I claim that I am the best of the creators, that means I am fabricating creators to make myself look good. If you look at when the if you look at when the verses were released yeah. during uh, Muhammad mm -hmm. uh -huh. you will see that at that time mm -hmm. what did they worship? What they worship? Tell me, what did they worship? They worship many gods and many of them they are creators. Exactly. So when he released these verses, mm -hmm. he said that there is no god that is that can create or uh, that can create human life. Mm. other than him mm. and therefore he used this word creators and the best of the creators finally so you see so you just that... admitted now you see in the beginning you told me about cars bicycle now you just said allah is saying to them nobody can create oh, a human did, life look did. look what you did you, you in did. the beginning you start to play games going around and now you agree this is about allah saying nobody can create lives but he just said I am the best of the creators. Yeah, so it. if nobody can create life and he is saying you I'm the best of the creators, that means he is lying because he is not the you best of the creator. He is the only creator. Exactly, yes. So he is lying. Let me ask you, do the people at that time, you said to me what, what people believe at that time. Do people at that time believe that Baal is God and he create life? Say it again, please. I gotta Baal, 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 Baal. The God Baal, well, the right. God of fertility. Does the people at that time believe in Baal as God who create life? Can I compare your God to Baal? Well, what is Baal? Baal is the God of fertility, pagan God. He sent rain, fertilized the ground, make women having babies. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So can, can I compare? Can I can I say Allah is is the best of Baal? No. Can I say Allah is better well, than Baal? Hold on, hold on, Can I hold say on. Allah is a better God than the God Baal? No, because he no one compares to him. All right. Here we go. This is the Quran, my friend. Chapter 37, verse number 125. And you are the one who said no, no, because no one can be compared to him. Allah, he compared himself to Baal. He says, will you call upon Baal and forsake the best of the creators? I, I don't know where you're getting these verses from because I can't Quran, see them. I'm getting it from the book of Muhammad. You do not know where I'm getting it from? Chapter, no, because chapter 37, one. verse number 125. And remember, you are the one who said to me clearly, you cannot compare him to Baal. We cannot say Allah is better than Baal. We cannot say Allah best of Baal. No, we cannot. You said to me, you cannot compare him to anyone. And now we find that Allah, he compared himself to a pagan god. His name is Baal. People believe he is a creator. Yeah. Hmm. And he said he's the best of creators. Exactly. So now Allah is the best of Baals. No, he's using this example to show that no one compares to him, even if they think they are creators. My friend, how they can think if they aren't even exist? That is really silly. But a second ago, I asked you, can we compare so Allah? Right. You said, listen, 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 listen to yourself, listen to yourself, how you are biting your tongue again. I said to you, can we compare Allah? Can we say, my friend, my friend, hold on. Didn't I ask you just a minute ago? I said, can we compare Allah to Baal? You said no. Can we say Allah better than Baal? You said no. Can we say Allah the best of Baal? You said no. I said, why? Because you said, you can, because we cannot compare Allah to anyone. But now the verse saying, will you call upon Baal? And forsake the best of the creators. So now Allah here is the best of the creators compared to who? To Baal. He's saying, are you compare, comparing Baal, who's, I'm not sure what it is, um, that believes that they are creators and they are nobody compared to the Almighty and the one that created you and the whole universe. Hmm. But you just say, no but you just say, no, but we cannot compare. And now you are saying to me, compare to Allah. I mean, you Muslims yeah. are weird. You keep saying to me, you cannot compare Allah. You cannot compare to Allah. You cannot compare Allah. And now you are saying, Allah is saying, you, you know, compare to Allah. The, he is the best compared to Allah. 
hold on. He's saying how he's saying he's saying in that matter. How could you compare someone? That My is friend, clear where is the word? Where do you get this word from? Where it says how can you compare from? Where do you get the, Are you adding word in the Quran? What you said, Allah saying, how can you compare? You are adding words to the Quran now. Where is the word compare? Where it says, giving, how can you compare? No, I'm giving an interpretation. Okay, then your interpretation have to go with the text. If Allah, he says, are you calling upon Baal? He did not say Baal is a fake God. He said, are you calling upon Baal? And you forsake the best of the creator. That means Baal is a creator. Allah is a creator, but he is the best. So what do you need to me? What, what should I answer for you? I don't understand now. You are asking me what to answer. You are the one who should answer, not me. So Allah is a fake God. Uh, let me let me make it simple for you. Is Allah is Allah really is the only creator according to the Quran? He is the only creator of. So who is Jesus? Yes. Isn't it the Quran says Jesus? He said, "I create for you from the mud, a figure of a bird, and I breathe into it by the will of Allah." Okay. Okay. He created it. Who is the one who created it? Jesus. Yeah, but he gave him the 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 miracle or the power to do that. Doesn't matter. So now we have at least two creators in the Quran. Because if Allah no, gave no, me no, no no hold on hold on if Allah gave me the skills or the ability to build a house, I'm a builder. Do I agree? Let, can can I say something? Say something. When uh, when uh, Allah says that He allowed um, allowed Jesus he to al like he bring allowed it. he allowed uh -huh. yes okay. allowed mm. because when He said when Allah allowed Jesus mm -hmm. to like bring people back alive yeah Jesus did not have the the magical power to just get them alive mm. Allah ordered him to do so by the will of God not ah. uh, some magical that it was given to okay him. I will go with you but now Jesus become a creator That's what it says. my friend Jesus become a creator you just admitted that Jesus he create Allah he gave no, him the power I didn't. I didn't well the Quran I, says okay I, so are you saying the Quran say are, you are you saying the Quran my friend are you saying the Quran using a false language read with me chapter of 3 verse number 49 says I I read carefully I you know, uh, I will make out of the clay as if it were the figure of a bird, and I breathe into it. And you speak Arabic. Who is breathing? Give me the answer, please. Who is breathing? Who is I? Who is breathing? Who says I? Jesus. Can, can you see the the verse from the start? Because I. Chapter 3, verse number 49. You open your Quran, my friend. You speak Arabic. You have no excuse. The, I'm calling you, so I'm, I don't have the Quran with me right now. No problem. We can uh, open, you know, Google. Okay, tell me the verse. Okay, chapter 3, verse number 49. <clears throat> can you read it? Hmm. Go ahead. No, I'm, I'm saying, can you read it? Okay, it says, I... I have come to you with a sign from your Lord that I designed for you. This is one of translation. Out of a clay, uh, as it were, at the figure of a bird, and the breathe into it. Who is the one breathing? Okay. Who, who, who is the one? Who is the one is breathing in the bird? Continue. I'm you know, listening. I'm asking you. Who is the one by one? Who is the one who will breathe in the bird? Allah or Jesus? T tell me who. I don't have the verse. So tell me. My friend, it's Jesus. I'm asking you. You are the Muslim. Read it in Arabic. Stop! No, I'm st saying, stop no, saying to me, my book. friend. Stop saying to me who who I'm the. You are the Muslim. I am the Christian. Remember, we are not switching position. So when in Arabic he says, fihi, I breathe into it. Who is talking? Yeah, Allah. No, the Messiah is saying that. Wait, can you can I can I look on the YouTube first because I can't. Okay, read it on YouTube. Here we go.
Read and translate. Go ahead. I mean, there's no need to wait for long. I uh, just opened YouTube. Okay. And we can open the interpretation too. See, it says, Okay, who is the one who breathes? From... See, I ask you, who is the who... one who breathes? You said Allah. No, because I didn't see the. the okay, first... so now confirm yeah. to me in the front of everybody who is the one is breathing into the bird as a mud? Is it Jesus or Allah? You need to read the, the sentence uh, fully. We will read Don't in full, no problem. First... We will read, my friends. We have all okay. the time. We have all the time. But who is the one who do the breathing into the mud? Jesus, correct? Hold on. It says, okay. who, is, from who? What, who is the one? Why you don't answer? Who is the one is breathing into the mud which is in the figure like when of the I, when, when I tell you, how do you get born? From your mom. This is not so a, my that, friend, don't change the question. Who is the one is breathing? Who is the one? No. Who is the one is breathing onto the mud? My mom, she did not, my, my, her, her husband did not breathe into her. This is how God, he created Adam, my friend. God, he gave Adam his spirit, his soul, by breathing into the figure of a mud. My dad cannot do that. Your dad cannot do that. So don't mix things up. The ability of reproduction, okay. listen, the ability of reproduction is not ability to predict, reproduce souls. Even your Quran, even your hadith, your prophet says, after Allah, he may form the person inside the, you know, then he sent the angels to give him his soul. So don't make things up. So now I'm asking you, who is the one who breathed into the mud? Is that Allah or Jesus? If you look at it fully, it says, Why you don't want to answer? Who is the one who breathed into yeah, the mud? Jesus or Allah? In order for you to understand I understand, me, Mr. Order. Why you don't no, give you me don't the answer? Why you don't give me the answer about the breathing first? Who is the one is breathing into the mud is it allah or jesus from from the first two words yes it is jesus thank but you who gave okay. him the okay. power okay. or not the power like who gave him the will is allah wonderful Therefore, it's, it's finally, from allah, finally, from jesus. finally our friend here thank you very much uh mr isam he so what did you understand my friend mr isam listen you just agreed after so after uh, after asking you one thousand time who is a breathing? You try to skip it. You just said that Allah gave the power to Jesus and the one who breathed the spirit into the bird is Jesus. So the soul created inside Jesus, not inside Allah, for the one who breathed the soul into the bird was Jesus. And you agreed. So the Are spirit, to understand the thoughts? spirit of life, hold on. The spirit of life is not coming from Allah for the one who breathed it is who is Jesus and you agreed. Now you are saying to me the Quran saying by the will by the permission of Allah, correct? Yes. Okay. See when you when you read the full sentence after that it said it says what by the permission of Allah. Okay. Same thing. Wonderful. Same thing. Wonderful. Can you let me finish? Sure. Same thing as a mother. That gives birth to a child. Yes, she gives birth to a child, but it doesn't happen miraculously like that. It's Allah that gives permission for the mom to give birth. So, um, it's, it's, so, okay. birth. so you are saying it's the same as the mother. It's the same thing. Uh, my friend, oh, so focus with me. You say the same as the mother, and this is not a miraculous thing, correct? No, I said she doesn't just miraculously give a birth to a random being. So is it a miraculous thing or it's not a miraculous thing? For what? When the mother she gave birth, is it a, she, is, she is making a miracle no, or saying, she is not I'm a miracle? Is she bringing a miracle, my friend? Make it simple. You said it's not miraculous to happen, right? So they have sex. They have no, sex. Is that, a, is that a miraculous thing? thing or it is just, you know, the women she gave birth because they have sex? I said she gives birth mm. by the permission of God, which ah. allows her to have a child. Okay. Is she making a the, miracle now? A is, the, is the mother and the father making a miracle or the, you know, that, that's it. It's permission. Is it a miracle or just a permission? 
is science. It's first a, of all. So it's a miracle. Is it? A, is it? A, well, no, no, no. Secondly, I'm asking about the mother. The mother. Focus with. Focus with me. You mentioned the mother and the father. So when the father and the mother they sleep together and they have a baby, is that a miracle or just a permission of Allah so they can reproduce? It's two things: science and permission from Allah. All right. So now you are saying to me it's that not, even the even that even the man, the man and the women they are creators too. No, I said they they are, they have permission from God. Permission to create. No permission to just like release the baby, but it doesn't create. It doesn't. What? Okay, hold on. What do you mean release the baby? Uh, so why you are mentioning to me that miracle? If it's not a miracle, releasing the baby is not a miracle. Who is the one? Let us go back to zero. Muslim, they love to play games. Okay, Jesus, he breathed into the bird. When he did that, what he did exactly? By breathing. Him, what he did by breathing? What is the breathing for? For in that uh, in that case with the Jesus, yeah, he said that he gave like the bird to be alive or something. I, I didn't read it. You know, I'm you. asking you when Jesus he breathed into the mud, which is in a figure of a bird. Why he did breathe? Why did he breathe? Yeah, what he did, what when he did breathe into the mud, what well, exactly that does? Permission. He read the full sentence. My friend, you keep repeating the, the same thing. You give for permission, permission, permission. I'm asking you the action of a breathing. What for? Allah told him to do so. I don't. I'm not asking you if Allah told him or not. I'm asking you what for? Why he breathed? It's the same question as asking why does she give birth? It's the same thing. No, people they give birth because a man have sex with the women nine months after no, they have a why? baby. So we know why. No, your question, the man your he question. don't breathe, my friend, the man he don't breathe into the women, the man he have intercourse with the women, then they will have a baby. So now I'm asking you, when Jesus he breathed into mud, this is mud. It's just a stupid mud. So now we made a figure of a mud. Who said, who said, who said mud is stupid? Because it's dirt, don't you call it dirt? People call it dirt. Don't you think it has benefits as well? It's what? Don't you think that mud has been benefit to the, the to the world as well? Don't make a story now of the mud. Don't change yes my topic. No. Yes oh, have no. a benefit for sure. Have a benefit. Everything have a benefit. Even piss have a benefit. Even shit have a benefit. Say? Don't they use fertilizer from the poo poo? Don't change the topic now. So I'm asking you now. Why Jesus? Why Jesus? He breathed, and what for? What the reason he breathed? You keep saying to me, Allah told him, why he breathed. The one who create is the one who breathe. Who is the one who breathed into Adam? His soul, Allah. Who is the one who breathed into the bird? You said Jesus. So now Jesus is acting like Allah, same as Allah. He breathed into Adam. Jesus, he breathed into the mud and make it a bird. Living bird, do I agree? No, because if I tell you, if I tell you, hmm. I'm your manager. I'm just giving a, an example, yeah. But I am your I'm manager. I am your manager. But I can, I can manage. I can manage. I can manage. Listen, listen. You are changing. This is not what it says. It says he breathe. Who is the one who breathe? Jesus. You, you agreed in the beginning. You try to deny it. After 15 no, no, no. argument, you're you agree that the who, end... who breeds who breeds Jesus by whom by the permission of God? No problem, you can't, you, no problem. Of Allah. But that's mean, just read half of that's the, mean half of the that Jesus that mean the, the the soul which is given to the bird is generated inside Jesus. Do we agree? Wait, the bird is generated inside Jesus? Yeah, inside because he breathed. Why well, you are laughing? Isn't it Allah? He breathed from inside him too. Uh, Jesus did not breed the the bird inside him. No. No, I did not say that. Are you are you are you, are, are you deaf? I say the spirit, the soul of the bird, was generated from inside Jesus, and then he breathed out to the mud, which became a living bird. See? After he received hold the breath of Jesus. So, from what I understood now, is that you thought that Jesus. Uh, almost breathes from inside him to make a bird or something. My friend, you are the genius. Jesus, no. so Jesus, he breathed from where? Hold on, hold on, guys. Guys, Jesus, he did not breathe from inside him. He breathed from where? From where? 
you tell me you said you, you you say you said to me oh so you think that jesus he breathed from inside him so jesus he breathed from to where the, i said it said by the permission of allah which means stop changing the, the topic perfect. you said you and thought you are you speaking to me you said you allow thought aha uh -huh. so you think that jesus breathed from inside him i find this is very funny comment so you are saying to me, Jesus, he when he breathed, he did not actually, it doesn't say breathe. He says, anfuhu, which means I blow. So Jesus, he was blowing not from inside him. He was blowing from where? From his mouth. From his mouth. Thank you very much. So guys, he made fun of me saying, Jesus, he breathed from inside him, the spirit. Now he's saying he breathed. No, not from inside him, from no, his no, mouth. No, no. You said, you said he breathes the bird uh, inside him. No, I said the bird. spirit, the spirit, the soul of the bird. No, you didn't say the spirit first. No, I say it. And I, the, the whole topic about the, the spirit, soul. man, what's wrong with you? The whole topic is about Jesus, the breathing inside. I asked you 1,000 times. So who is Can the one who generates? I said to you a million times, did Jesus generate the spirit from inside him, breathe it into the bird? And now you are making yourself dumb. You do not know that I was speaking about spirit. Uh, okay. So let us focus, focus. Can you, can you so when Jesus, he breathed and he, he, he breathed the soul and he gave it to the bird. Where did Jesus get the soul from? Can you let me finish? I want you to answer where He's, where Jesus where is the soul of the bird coming from? You said from allow his mouth. One, can you allow me one minute to finish? I will allow you yes ten no. hours. We are wasting my time. Where the soul which is given to the bird is coming from? Interrupting me and then I'll answer you. Is that simple? No, you are not simple because you are you are just wasting my time and you you, you play dumb. You claim that I did not say that. So I'm asking you, please. You want to the, you want to the, you want the, to the to spirit, the spirit, it. the soul which is a breathe into the mud, which was not a bird yet. It was in the shape of a bird. It came in from the mouth of Jesus. And finally, you agree, it's coming from his mouth. So what came out of the mouth of Jesus? Go ahead, elaborate. Please do not interrupt me, okay? Go ahead. When uh, when Jesus breathes, mm -hmm. it means that he blows from his mouth. So when he blowed from his mouth, it if the soul didn't just come out from his mouth to the bird, and now it became a bird with a soul. That's not what happened. Allow me to finish. Mm -hmm. What happened is that when he blowed, Allah gave him the permission, and Allah, uh, at that moment, he just blew air. But then uh, Allah allowed him, uh, Allah gave the soul to the bird straight away as soon as he blew. So he did not breathe it just naturally like that. It was from God as well. Are you done? Yes. Okay. First of all, you are a big fat liar because nowhere it says he blow air. You are adding things to your Quran to fix and duct tape your Quran. Are you fabricating a new Quran? Can't Allah say he blow air? The bird, he become alive, and you are saying to me that this is when Jesus, he blow air as if the bird what is a balloon. You, listen, listen, listen. I'm sorry, what do you blow out of your mouth? Listen, listen. You said it's coming from his mouth, and you are saying he blow air, but what that have to do he with the... Hold on, hold on. What this have to do with the creation of the bird then? Jesus do not need to blow anything. Allah will give a permission already. He gave a permission to Jesus that he make the bird alive and you are, you are saying to me when jesus he blew he blew air not a soul can you prove that to me oh yes he did he didn't blow soul soul was given to the bird can as you, soon as can you prove it to just, me the verse in the front of you you are adding words where in the verse he says blow air first of all hmm. and if you read the quran which you clearly didn't mm -hmm. it says it says Oh Allah, okay. He's the he's the uh, he's the only God that can give birth mm -hmm. or uh, or like uh, make them dead or something like that. Yeah? Wonderful. What does that mean? What that it mean? means he's the only person mm -hmm. or not person. He's the only being mm -hmm. that could give birth and make someone alive or dead. Well, right. Well, that is a contradiction for so the person in front of us. Read me. Read me. Hold on. 
Read. It says, and I bring the dead to the life by Allah leaves. So I, he did not say, I pray to Allah. I did not say, he did not say, I will ask Allah. He said, I bring the dead to life and then by Allah leaves, which means he have the ability. Leaves here does not mean that Allah, each time Jesus want to do something, he call him, he says, Allah, can I do this? No, Allah gave him permission, according to you, to do all those things and not to forget to mention that this is the claim of Muhammad. Muhammad is the one claiming that this is by Allah leaves. And we can prove that this is very false. Hey, Why? Hold on. hold on. We can prove that to be false very easy. Jesus, as an example, Muhammad. he said to the blind man, he put some mud in his face and he made him see. Jesus, he said to the man who cannot walk, walk. He carried his bed and walked. Allah, he said to Muhammad, read it three times. Did Muhammad learn how to read? Yeah, well, you, you're moving to a whole other question. No, no, no. We are Allow trying me. to show you that the leaves of Allah is a, is a potato leaves. It's not exist because if Allah can do, give a leaf for such an, a, a miracle, then he should do miracle to Muhammad. Here we go, Muhammad. He been received three commands from Allah to read it three times. And even the angel, he squeezed him three times. But Jesus, he said to the man who cannot walk, walk, he walked. Jesus, he ordered the dead man to come from the ground. He is coming from the ground. Jesus, he created from the mother bird, as you see. So all of this is confirmed that Jesus can do. Now you must then claim that this is by Allah leaves. Well, the, so well, why well, Allah, well, why Allah leaves does not work except with Jesus? How come Allah could not make Muhammad read after three times saying to him, read? Because that was not what he's intending. So what he was intending by saying read? Actually, if you if you you clearly didn't do any research mm -hmm. when he's with the meaning the 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 point behind the read the read and read yeah. it doesn't mean that oh uh, why didn't you just uh, just read you can't read or something like that mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that it what? means uh -huh. as a nation we are we must prioritize teaching in order to be literate now so now that Allah he was speaking uh, to Muhammad this is about the nation I'm saying it's a message <laughs> to the nation worldwide to the Muslim okay listen people. listen listen everybody is dying laughing about what you just said so the, the angel he squeezed Muhammad three times so he was squeezing the nation what when the angel he squeezed Muhammad three times saying to him read he was squeezing all the Muslims, trying to make you understand that you should read, right? The message behind this verse. What message behind? Where do you get this from? from Where do you get this from? Where do you get this from? If you if you search for it, I, I you know what the, you, from the you scholars, are you are my search scholars. engine now. I'm asking you where you got this fabrication from. There's not an, even a single scholar. He says such a funny, silly thing. You are trying to cover. It's funny. It's funny to you. Then they prove it it's to me. Listen, to listen, listen. I am here with you, my friend. Yes or no? Either, yes or no? Either yes you are no. lying, my friend. Either you are lying, or you give me the scholar who said the the, the story of a squeezing three time and ordering him to read three time is not for Muhammad. It was for all the Muslims so they can learn how to read. Give me the source. It was for both. It give me the both. source, my I friend. Didn't say it was for you one person, said not the other. you said this is what's mean. Give me the source of it. Where you where it gets from? Search on Google. But Prophet Google, you are the one who mentioned it. I never heard of it ever in my life. I will learn from you. So tell me where we Google can find. Before. Tell me who is the scholar who said that. Simple, right? Simple, Mister Simple. His name is Simple. Who? Right on Google. <laughs> right on Google engine. So you are who? saying to me you yes. are fabricating things is not Islamic, and you are saying to me ask Prophet Google peace be upon him. So now we go back to zero. The prophet been squeezed three times. Allah said to him three no, times. Read. You to research. And my friend, I told you to research, stop telling me a research. Didn't. Stop telling me a research. Give me the search you have. No, I, I, 
I don't have the exact uh, website to get into. I don't it care do for you own, so you are making time, my friend. If in you your cannot, own time, when you come with something, either time, it, either it's true or it is false. Obviously, it's false. And can you can you tell How? me why why give the, me a proof why the angel give me the, why the, give me your proof. why the angel proof. my friend why the angel he squeezed him three times? Can you tell me? Give me your proof. I have the story. The, I'm false. I have the give story. A... I have the story in front of me. The angel came to Muhammad, spoke only to Muhammad. He said to him, he did not say to him, your people, your, you know, he just said to him. In the, oh, the, no, read. no, I'm saying, give me a proof that what I'm saying is false from, uh, from the scholars. Because you cannot prove it. No, I told you I can. Okay, good. go go ahead. In your own time, you research for it. No, 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 no. You see, when, when I say something to you, I have to prove it. If I could not, that's mean I'm making things up. When you mention it, you are asking me, look how stupid what you are saying. You are asking me to look for something is not exist to prove that you are lying. Did you, did you, did you search for it in order? For, I do, don't do want you know to search. You, first, get, you know, you are the one who mentioned it. Prove it to me. And now, you're a prophet been squeezed by the angel three times. Is that correct? You're what? You're a prophet by, was been squeezed three times by the angel of Allah, correct? Well, what does it mean by squeeze by angel? He squeeze him. It says here, he squeezed me. He's, he he hold him so tough. Can you, can you put, get the Arabic? He, uh, he, put, he put his arms around him and then he squeezed him three times. And each time he said to him, read. And the prophet, he says, ma ana biqare. What to read? Okay. Okay. So why he squeezed him three times? I don't know why three times. Why not four? Uh, I don't know. Why not four? Hmm? Is your profit slow? I'm not sure. You are not sure I, if I, your I, profit I is know. slow or not? Well, obviously it's slow. Why I need to repeat the question to either, you? Either way, either way, uh -huh. that's not what's going to make uh, Islam... Uh, uh, that's not what's going to make... No, no, no. Uh, that will make Islam a stupid religion. Why? Because if Allah that. gave a permission to Jesus to uh, resurrect people from death, isn't it easier to Allah to make Muhammad learn how to read, how to write without going to school? Allah, he said to him, read. So Muhammad should not say, I cannot read. He should say, blah, 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 blah. I read right now a miracle. He will go, Allah ordered me to read. I can read. So Allah, he said to Muhammad, read, squeeze him three times. Still Muhammad, he died illiterate. Jesus. He said to the blind see he saw he said that the man he cannot walk walk he walk the one who is in the grave come, come, come from the grave there's a story from your prophet that jesus he brought What's even hold on jesus he brought even noah from his grave even noah imagine so listen 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 so your prophet he mentioned that jesus he ordered he command a, 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 like a, a pile of 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 uh, of uh, uh, sand and the sand become a man from uh, and he asked him a question how how he uh, how hey, he, what's your point then? listen my point is that your god cannot do what jesus can do so when the muslim they say by permission of Hold allah on. Hold you, on. you Hold have on. to prove that allah can do what he claimed he gave to jesus so now what Hold we on. have is confirmed that jesus can make the blind see Jesus, he can make, he can heal the leper, he can heal the so blind, saying, he can even huh? tell you what you had in your house. Can your prophet tell us what you had in your house? Hold on. So you're saying there are two gods. That from your understanding, there are two gods, which is Jesus and then Allah. No. Allah is a false no, god. Allah is a false god. What uh, what god? Look. What do you mean false god? Well, here we go. I mean. Yeah. The one who can create is so Jesus. When you're saying that Allah listen, listen, listen. Do that. The Quran confirm the Quran confirm the ability of Jesus to be creator, to raise people from death, to make the blind see. Now you could not confirm to me that Allah can do what Jesus can do, or what you came to me after six hundred years. Those are all the news. We know that Jesus did all this miracle. This is not a new news. So the Muhammad he came, he said, Oh, this by permission of Allah, prove it. It's the same God that allowed Jesus to bring uh, the dead. To, to alive can Allah can Allah, Allah can Allah give a permission to Muhammad to do the same if he wanted to yes so why he did not want it to ask God it's not it's not my problem oh no no hold on this is your problem because the Quran confirm that Allah he said 
when they ask I'm Muhammad, the hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not the one, I'm friend, not the one that created God. Uh, 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 Miss, uh, sorry, the created uh, Isam, Quran. Isam, 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 listen. Isam, your name is Isam, right? Or is Isyam, or what is that? Isam? Is it Isam? Then you continue. All right, listen. If, I, if you say to me, uh, if I claim to be a prophet, and then you say to me, I say to you, well, how come you don't have a, a, a you know, miracle Christian prince if you are sent by God? And then I say to you, wait, and the miracle will come. Is that accepted? You went all the way back again. Uh, because we have always why, to go back. To, we, to we have always to go back we, to we zero talk, with Muslims. We talk for so I'm long asking you. I'm asking you. Is it okay? Is it okay if I say to you, wait, and Allah will send later a miracle? What do you mean, wait and? You ask me now. What, if you are a prophet of God, if you are a prophet of God, now. Yeah. Do a miracle for me, and then I say to you, Wait, wait, Allah. I'm not a prophet. Thank you very much. I'm not a prophet. Simple as it is, huh? I'm not a prophet. I'm asking you, What do you think? If I claim to be a prophet, me myself, not you, and then you okay. ask me, You say to me, How come you don't have a miracle? and then I say to you, Oh, Allah will send. Wait, do you think this is a good excuse? So if you're a prophet and you don't have a miracle, mm. it's an excuse. Yeah. By saying to no. you, wait, wait, Allah, in the future, Allah will send miracles. Is that a good excuse? Or uh, my God should give me right away miracles to shut in the up, up? You know, people, they keep no, asking no. me for a miracle. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying that a prophet doesn't just randomly get all the miracles that he wants because he's just a I'm not asking you about a miracle he day, wants I'm asking I'm asking one day, one, mir one miracle people they keep asking him if you are a messenger of God here we go Moses have miracles all prophet have miracles where is yours he did have miracles as well which one search on Google here we go, Mr. Google. Well, let me, let me get you busted. The, fact, the Quran, fact, the Quran, fact, hold on, hold on. The Quran says, listen, you Muslim, you lie, you and your Google. This is the Quran, chapter 10, verse number 20. They I, keep I asking him, something. they keep asking for a miracle. What he said to them, wait. I will actually tell you something. Don't tell me something. Go on Google does it say, it's Mr. Google. The 10 does it say, the does it say Quran? that Muhammad, Allah, he said to Muhammad, tell them to you, wait. You're talking about miracles, right? Hold on. You're talking if about Muhammad miracles. have a miracle, why is all Allah is saying to them, wait? Wait what? Wait, wait for it. <laughs> for what? For what? For what the was miracle. The... What miracle? Tell me. You tell me. Allah, he's saying to them, wait, it's going to come for you one day, one day. What so, miracle? So if Muhammad have miracle, then the, the what, people... What miracle? Just go. What a kid. What? What donkey? What a what what a giraffe? What a cat? What potato? What is the what 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 miracle? They keep asking him for a miracle and the Quran keep repeating. They keep asking you for a miracle. The Quran says Allah did not give miracle because former generation do not believe in them. So the Quran confirmed that Muhammad received zero miracle. You will find all the miracles of Muhammad is not in the Quran. It's a fabrication long after when the Muslim, they made the Hadith up. Because there's no way Allah, he mentioned the miracle of every prophet, but he will forgot to mention in the Quran the most amazing prophet miracle. Look, Allah, he mentioned the miracle of Jesus. Moses, Moses across the sea. God, he punished Pharaoh. God punished the army of Pharaoh. God, he punished, he destroyed the nation of Israel. God, he destroyed the nation of Assyria. God, do, 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 do all those miracles. And then when it's come to Muhammad, tell them to wait. And they keep asking why he don't have a miracle. The Quran gave them an answer. Oh, you know what? We gave miracles to former generation before you. You did not believe in it. So I will not give miracle. So the Quran confirmed that Muhammad have zero miracle. Chapter 2, verse 118. 
And those who have no knowledge say, why does not Allah speak to us face to face? Or why does not a, a, a sign give to us? Either he you know, speak to us or give us a sign. Otherwise, anyone can claim to be a prophet. So all what the people asking for is something legitimate. If there is any way to prove to us that you are really sent by the one you call Allah, the answer, oh, okay, hold on. So say the people before them, similar uh, import, you know, yeah, so he will not give a name. This is not an answer. If Muhammad have a miracle, he says, are you stupid or what? Do you see what I did? Look how many miracles I gave you. I gave you. No. He said, he never have a miracle. Never been given a miracle. Even Mary have a miracle. Even Zechariah have a miracle. Even Aaron have a miracle. I mean, every single person has a miracle except Jesus. Chapter 6, verse number 37 is one of the most hilarious stupid statement of Muhammad. And they say, why not a sign sent down from his Lord? Say, certainly, certainly, Alidawa, certainly, brothers and sisters, Allah is able to send signs. But they don't know. They do not know what, you idiot. Do you see, guys, the excuse? People are desperately keep asking Muhammad for a sign to prove that he is a prophet of God. And what is the excuse is? Certainly he can send this sign. Well, I can say the same about anyone. Somebody now, right now, he can say to me, Christian Prince, if you are a prophet, let your God give you a sign. I say, certainly my God can give a sign, okay? Hey, honey, can you give me some a grape? But in the case of Jesus, Jesus did not say to them, certainly. Jesus, he did. One after one after one. Even the Bible says that if we want to write down the miracles of Jesus, there's no books can write them down. Jesus did not go blah, blah. Oh, you know, I gave before me. Moses, he received a sign. You do not believe in Moses. No, they believe in Moses. This is an excuse. And we believe in the miracle of Moses. And we believe in the miracle of Jesus. So how come in when it's come to Jesus, miracles is coming like rain? When it's come to Muhammad, shish kebab, hummus. When they ask Zakir Naik, how come Jesus have all those miracles? What Jesus uh, Zakir Naik he said, brother sister, in the time of Jesus, science was very complicated, and science was very advanced. In the time of Jesus, science was very advanced. Have you ever heard of advanced science go backward? Muhammad came 600 years after Jesus. And what does this have to do with science, you idiot? Why Muhammad was giving them three bills? Like Jesus, I mean, Jesus, he gave them three bills. Did, did Jesus give the, the blind man a medicine? He put it in his eyes and he, he do it three times a day and he was here. What medicine? Muhammad, he came 600 years after Jesus. So now in the time of Jesus, medicine was advanced in the time of Muhammad is not. So imagine guys, science today is not advanced as 600 years ago in medicine. Who wanna believe such a garbage? But because they could not explain why Muhammad have zero ability. In the same time, Jesus, whatever, Jesus is a miracle machine. Wherever he go, miracle happened. He walk, he sit, even when he eat, the Quran confirmed. There's a chapter in the Quran called the chapter of Al-Ma'idah. What Al-Ma'idah means the table. Allah, he sent to Jesus seven whales. Each one of them is a whale inside a loof. I mean, even the food of Jesus is a miracle. Seven whales, and Muhammad fabricating the story. He stole the story from the Bible, and he had some flavor to it. 
So even the food of Jesus is a miracle. Even the birth of Jesus is a miracle. Even the act of Jesus is a miracle. Even the birth of Jesus is a miracle. Even now, Jesus is alive in heaven. All of this about Jesus. So we want to know who is Jesus. And yet they say to us, why you worship Jesus? What a sign of a prophet, somebody is asking. According to Islam, Allah, he made a covenant, an agreement with the Jews not to believe in any prophet unless he did what Abraham or what the children of Adam did in the Quran. So the Quran said, and Muhammad, he agreed, the Jews said to Muhammad, Allah, he put a condition on us. That we will not accept any messenger unless he give a sacrifice. And then Allah, he sent fire from heaven to accept it. This is the condition of the Quran. And this is mentioned in many places in the Quran. As an example, chapter 5, verse number 27. Allah, from the time of Adam and his children, the two sons of Adam, they have there was a fighting about a woman, one of their sisters. She have a cross eyes, the other one she don't have a cross eyes. So both of them now they want to have sex with the one she don't have a cross eyes. I don't know what that have to do with having sex with the women. Look like they are focusing in the eyes too much. And then Allah told Adam, let your two sons give sacrifice. And the one who Allah accept his sacrifice, he will send a fire from heaven and consume it. So this is chapter five. Let us go to a different chapter. In chapter uh, uh 3 verse number 138 and we know the story of Abraham so there's no need to mention it even in the Quran and the Jews they said early Allah has taken our promise not to believe in any messenger unless he bring us a sign what is a sign an offering which as a fire from heaven shall devour look Muhammad did not say no that's not true Muhammad he agree he said Say, verily there come to the you messengers before me with the clear signs and even with what you seek, what you speak of. You see it? You see it, guys? Allah, he confirmed that, yes, this is the condition I made to the point he did what they are asking for. Even what you said, which means sending fire from the sky, but yet, when you did, so why then you did kill them if you were, if you are truthful? So here you see that the stupid Allah, he agree that he made a covenant with the Jews not to accept any messenger except he gave a sacrifice and then a fire come from the sky to consume it to prove that he is a prophet of God. And yet Allah, he refused to do it. But notice here, Allah, he did this miracle to everybody except Muhammad. Do you see it? And not to forget to mention the stupidity in the verse here, because according to Islam, according to the Quran now, the Jews, they killed many prophets. You killed them. Them, them. If we ask the Muslims, who are they, the prophets the Jews killed? They have no answer. And if they are able to kill the prophet, then why you cannot kill Jesus? Guys, are you with me? Do you see the stupidity? The Quran confirmed that you can kill the prophets of Allah. And actually the Jews, they killed before Muhammad many. Name them. And why Allah, he saved Jesus, but he will not save the prophets. Right? 
what you are saying doesn't make any difference whether Allah is God or not. So proving that your God Allah is a potato, he's a fiction God, he is in this habit, does not prove that. As you see your God, he keep resisting, doing any miracle. And you Muslims are a bunch of liars. You fabricate hadith saying that Muhammad, he have miracles. Because if he does, Allah will not say those words. Allah will say, yeah, I gave him miracles. Are you stupid or what? Let me count for you. But you notice each time the, the, the people ask him Muhammad for a sign, just one, what Allah he do? Oh, you know, I gave miracle before, but you did not believe in them anyway. So I'm not going to give you any more. Allah, he have a strike. So don't tell me it does not make any difference. People are laughing. And that's why people leave Islam and they call me leaving Islam. When they see your answers, which is horrible. Why Allah will do it to all this much? Even the verse in the front of you is condemnation for Allah. Allah, he did all those miracles before. But now he will not do it with Muhammad. And this is the excuse in every verse. And the second you ask him, who are they, the prophet, the Jews they killed? That is even more troubling. They have none of any of the names. Who? Who? Muslims. Who can give me the names of the prophet who were killed by the Jews? According to Islam. So Allah have time to tell us about the ant speaking to Solomon, but he don't have time to tell us about a, Jew, a, a prophet of God was killed by the Jews. Just name one. Allah have time to tell us about the flying carpet of Solomon. The hood hood who is looking a bird who is looking for a woman. She have no hair in her legs, but he don't have time to tell us who is the prophet the Jews killed. My friend, nobody convert to Islam. And even if somebody convert to Islam, he convert like Andrew Tate. He is a pimp. Islam is sweet him for he's a pimp because the Quran make it so clear in chapter 24, verse number 33, that you can be a pimp, yet you are a Muslim in Islam, a good Muslim. So the only one who convert to Islam is a pervert. And Andrew Tate is an example. Have you ever heard of a God? He say you can work as a pimp. What kind of religion we are talking about? Force not your girls to do prostitution. And if we force them, Allah is all merciful if they decide the chastity. So if they agree to work as a whore, good for you. Business is good. And the verse in the front of you. And there's a video in Hatun about the three Muslims, it's called, it look like it's okay to work as a pimp. Very well known Muslim, go watch the video. People who convert to Islam, either they are being fooled, you know, they are ignorant, and those later they will leave Islam. Or a woman, she is looking for a husband, nobody want to marry her, sadly. And she is looking for a husband. Most they marry anything because it's not marriage. They marry you for a few days, you know, a month, two months to get citizenship or benefit from you. And then they dump you. Who's going to convert to Islam? Nobody. Who's going to convert to such a stupid religion promising me a lot of sex in heaven? This is, this is a pimp, God. This is Satan. Do I need to be genius if I come to your house? Hey, believe in my God, and if you believe in my God, he will give you a lot of women to F them. That is Andrew Tate God. Andrew Tate is operating as we speak, the heaven of Allah. In fact, Muhammad, he said that in heaven, there is Andrew Tate website. If you don't believe me, call me. Let me show you. And now the Muslim, they will say, MashaAllah, it's a miracle. How the Prophet, he knew. He predicted the, the webcam business, brother. Read and laugh. This is your Andrew Tate, Prophet Muhammad. 
in the heaven there is a market and under Tate he do a marketing business sex this is marketing business in the heaven there is a market in the market there is nothing but images of women and men and if the man he like the image he enter it and if it and Muhammad he said that in the heaven Allah will make your penis never go limp if you speak Arabic read it read it this is exactly and rotate business there's images and if you like the image go inside and if it and by the way if you notice that the images are images of men and women but the customer is a man so Muhammad he, prom he promote homosexuality in heaven This is religion. So why we are debating about Jesus? He is making the amazing miracle. Muhammad is speaking about the miracle of images for porn. Ah, uh, the Quran saying it clearly that if they agree for pimping business, then it is lawful. And I challenge you to go and call me, Ammar, and I will read the interpretation with you. The Quran is so clear. Don't force them. Don't force them if they choose to chaste. But if you force them, Allah is all merciful, which means anyway, there's no problem. And if they choose not to chaste, good for you. Not a single verse in the Quran saying prostitution is bad. It is the opposite. It says, if they agree, good for you. And even if they disagree, if you force them, good for you. Allah is all merciful. Shouldn't Allah say prostitution is forbidden? No. It says it clearly. Force them not. If they desire, there's a condition. If when they desire, chastity so if they agree bingo according to Andrew Tate they agree Allah and Andrew Tate is in total agreement if you force them no problem Allah is all merciful Do you see why we love at this religion? Now the video becomes so long, but we have today many Muslims who called us. So feel free to download the video and cut it pieces and name it by each one of them. Like those, uh, you know, each one of them, he have his own argument. You feel free to make the, the video as you wish when you download it. I hope you guys, you have a good time. I wish I can stay longer, but I'm really, I need to eat. You know, I eat almost once a day, most of the time. Uh, so, we are happy to see and to show how Islam is a very stupid, false cult. And why cannot be from God? As you see, after how many hours is talking, not a single Muslim was able to tell us what Allah means. Isn't it weird? Five hours. How many Muslim they call me? Not a single one knows what Allah means. That is telling you that the Muslim they worship a foreign God and he is a pagan God and they are just following a name with like a chicken. They don't even know what the name mean. It's not even a God. And if we go and search, we will find that it is the moon god with no question. 
more to share with you in the future and by the way if you are here for the first time or a thousand time you will notice that each time you come here you will learn something new as never before so don't think we might repeat verses yes because we cannot make a new Quran can we I mean the book is there but each time we will give you more nails to put in the coffin of the false prophet Muhammad who he is right now dead dust the insect ate him even the hadith says Ibn Abbas he said bury your friend he stink like all human stink the Muhammad and they refused to bury Muhammad for three days they thought he is like Jesus because Muhammad lied to them and he said that we prophet We prophets, our body will not be consumed when we died. So the Muslims, they believed him. They did not bury him for three days. Three days in Mecca, hot, desert city. Then what the Hadith says, فَقَدْ بَطْنَهُ His belly becomes full of fart. His belly becomes so big. And Muhammad starts farting. Three days he is dead. And the Muslim then, they could not even wash him because his skin is coming out, so they bury him with his clothing. The liar he claimed that the body of a prophet will never be decayed. We challenge you, Muhammad, to open the grave of Muhammad, but we do not need that. The hadith confirmed from Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, that Muhammad, he decayed when he was alive. He described his fingers, how his nails, his feet, his hands, his belly, and how he stink. So my friends, we are Christians who follow the living God the Messiah, his name is holy, his act is holy, his life is holy, and right now he is in the holy heaven with the Holy Father, and one day he will come down to this earth. Jesus said, I am from above, you are from below, but Muhammad is from below below. He is not even from the kingdom of a human being. He is demonic, he is satanic, and he tried to make you like him. Come back to Jesus, for only Jesus will make you go back to your humanity. Jesus said, love your enemy. Bless those who curse you. Jesus, when he said, love those who curse you, he is not teaching us how to be cowards. We are not. Don't even try to mess with us. When Jesus said, love your enemy, he is teaching us how to be children of God. Not to be the children of Satan. Not to be evil. He is telling us that love never fail. Satan always fail. And that is Muhammad. This is why Islamic countries is screwed. This is why they have zero ethic, zero knowledge, zero answer, and zero God, to the point they don't even know who their God mean. Even the name of God, they do not know what it's meant. They worship a God unknown name. They call him Allah, but they don't know what Allah mean. Isn't this sustain you a lot of things? God who claim what he claim in the Quran, he is the most stupid God. And me, myself, I'm so happy that the Quran is a stupid book. For that make my mission a lot easier. You see, Satan might be smart. 
But at the end of the day, he is stupid because he knew better that you cannot win against God. So he's stupid at the end of the day. But I could not believe that Satan will come to us with such a stupid book. Look like Satan when he inspired Muhammad to come on his religion. He was taking hashish. So suddenly the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Suddenly this God Satan don't remember which one he created first, the stars or the mountains or the sea or the water. Suddenly the Satan he think that there's hail coming from mountains in heaven. Suddenly the Satan he think that there is somebody spying at Allah and Allah shoot his ass with the stars. Suddenly the Satan he think that Allah he protected the sky by his stars. Satan is so silly. And I think the Satan of Muhammad is different from our Satan. He took him from Disneyland. This is why he is so silly and funny. Thank you all for being here. This is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly for today. Don't forget to subscribe and unsubscribe. So Allah will bless you. The wise Allah. What a dump.